Oh, yeah. Hello, hello, beautiful heroes. Instead of uh, pressing the unmute button on myself, I just about hit the end stream button, so that's where we're at today. <laughs> Uh, welcome, welcome, Sassy! Thank you for the resub! Holy shit, are you for real? Four years. That's too many years. End stream. Done. <laughs> Two, four years, I'm out. <laughs> it's over. That's a lot of years, Sassy. Been here from the beginning. Holy, thank you so much for that resub. Thank you so much for the four years. I wish I had something to offer you, like a new sub barrel or literally anything but all you get is a dumpster fire welcome <laughs> uh welcome to error slowly ginkgo epic uh i think i saw a squid in here a fizz hello hello hi guys yeah just a dumpster fire <laughs> you offer me content yes but it is a dumpster fire in nature so you know is that really a win is it uh, how's it going, guys? Happy Tuesday. I've lost all sense of time. I think it's a Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Uh, we're here for more chicken police, if it ever decides to show itself. Um, let's see if it'll, it'll... Uh, ooh, mm, oh, we got visual. Can we have sound? No, we got... <laughs> it froze. Okay, there we go. I know how time works. Pretty sure I closed the gap between me and Sassy. Yeah, mm hmm. Yep. These new glasses suit you so much, by the way. Great choice. Thank you, Sassy. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, Miro <laughs> hasn't ordered contacts, but I got new glasses. So I've just been wearing these and I'm out of contacts. So this is what we have for now. But thank you. I appreciate that. This is a, this is a new shape for me and I wasn't sure if it would fit my face but so far i've gotten a lot of like weird random compliments from strangers so all right cookie welcome thank you thank you thank you contactless mira new olympic sport everything contactless i mean if you want to get like really technical nothing ever touches anything because it's just atoms on atoms or whatever that weird bullshit rule is like nothing ever touches it's gonna, it's gonna be a weird day, isn't it? Um, let's see. Me, I'm stranger, I compliment. Oh, Sassy, I've known you for four years. Yeah. I don't think we can call you a stranger. <laughs> Fizz, uh, happy four years to you too. Forgot to share this. Thank you for the resub. Happy four years, guys. It's all wobbly electrons yeeting at different speeds. I like this definition. I like that one. That one makes me feel better. Cosmo, welcome. Hello, hello. How's it going? Paladin, welcome! Hello, hello! Uh, hi, guys. Um, okay, let me get my wobbly atoms to touch these wobbly atoms. Funny. There's something else. Oh, yes. Your car is here behind the building. The hot... Ursula covered it with a tarp. The hot, uh, evil doctor owl. Mm, yeah, that's the definition we're going with. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make that smaller. There we go. Uh, do you guys have drinks? Do you have do you have bebs with you today? It's a nice tea time over here because it's it's holy shit cold and well in my land it's holy shit cold. It is 53 degrees, raining, cold. Please don't pull out your wobbly atom. It's against us. Right, 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 right. Only hard atoms. Only hard atoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, I know that yeah. rule. Jara, happy three years! Thank you, thank you for the resub! It's uh, really funny to me that all you guys are hitting these milestones for like what will technically be January. It's great. Did I start in January or did I start in December? Does anybody know? Is there data somewhere that's, uh, that can tell me? <laughs> I don't even remember my own stream anniversary anymore. So many years. January. Desanuary. Desanuary sounds right. I like this month. Yes, yes. 
Um, we don't really need to listen to this. Uh, essentially, he has my car. Um, God, I forgot how shocking it is to see an owl in a suit. Um, I don't remember. We gotta go. We gotta go places. Ooh. Should we should we just continue on or should we let's go see if the dead body's gone? Ah, we're busted, boss. Uh-oh. Yeah, the boys were quite fast, I admit. Cops are already here. Ah, what are we gonna tell them? Jan Yusember. Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Twitch does a month in advance. That's true. So it would be December going on January. So Jan Yusember or Desanuary. I think to Sanuary is easier to say. No, I don't I don't have a followage thing. I don't know what that does. Somebody tried that the other day. No idea what that is. <laughs> Technically you got affiliate in January. You've been streaming for more than that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We'll call it January then. Uh I was bummed I couldn't make it to last stream for that chicken stream goodness. Oh, Paladin. Okay, alright, buddy. Let me fill you in. Uh, first. Wow, I don't remember anything that's happened. Um, we... Where did we start? Last time. We found a dead body. You know what, let's just... Hold Not up. Much. You think so? Just watch and learn, cub. Cub? It's definitely still a chicken. Uh, okay, hold up. Uh... Oh, yeah! We went to the sweltering Nile. God, how did I completely blank this entire experience? We went to the sweltering Nile, which is a brothel. Uh, this brothel had lewd pictures all over the wall. You really missed out on that one. Maybe I can take us back there and get you some, get you some pictures. Um, we met the lady who owns the brothel. Uh, Madam Zweiss, who's a giant alligator. We had an allig alligator crocodile debate. It was very heated. Um, we learned that the cat, Natasha, worked at the Sweltering Nile. Madam Zweiss took her under her wing. Um, and, uh, we also learned that our wife used to work at the brothel. Dun, dun, dun! Um, I think that's about where we're at. Oh, yeah, and then they put us on a burning boat, tried to kill us, uh, because we knew too much. We figured out that Zweiss was, like, this international spy lady. Um, so... Let me quickly, I wonder if I can come back here if I, you know what, we're not going to risk it. Let's finish up here. I'll take us back to the lewd pictures. Uh, oh, we got these two uh, idiots. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? Yeah, they were too us concerning. A little bit. And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah, we're not eating that shunny. They were lewds, Paladin, but so, they weren't entirely human. Way. Why are you here? Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, Phyllis. Oh. Young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. Aye, she was an Impala indeed, Phyllis. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? Mm. One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. So, the girl was naked. There's no That's trace true. of predation. That was we a don't weird even one. know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Huh. Another thing that only happens in Clob. Oopsie. Bella, huh? Uh, hold on. I'm getting word. Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. I said, have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, securing. And getting word. Hold, hold, hold. It's bugs. It's Boggs. It's Boggs. Uh, we're getting word that uh, we need to stay up until 1 a.m. to pick someone up from the airport. <laughs> it's going to be a great night. Um, let's 
Tell him we love him. Okay, all right, will do. Long stream, Lord. Just stream until 1 a.m. You guys would, you guys would love that. Can we see his arm again? Stream says they love you. Stream has requested an arm. There it is! Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, the word is not bird. The word is not bird. <laughs> arm. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You guys got arm. Box has blessed you with his arm. Ah, his arm's back! <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> I missed it, do it again. He did, and it scared the shit out of me, so there you go. I'm hot and bothered when, when Box is around. Cosmo, do you have a confession to give to me? <laughs> that arm literally fanning myself. It's a good arm, it's a good arm. Actually, he pulls out that tattoo very nicely. Um, let's speak to Bosco. Sorry, guys. Crime scene. You can come in if you want, <laughs> Marty. Bogger. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. It's all right, Bosco. We understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. What? Why'd you say that? Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. It's one ugly case. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit, you know. Well, what are you doing here anyway? I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it would be. But the it's a different kind of arm here now. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. It's a cappy. So everyone's doing everything, eh? It's and a cappy. Nothing. Not what they should He's anyway. He's hungry. But you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm already heading back to the PD. We just happen to be around here too, so uh, we'll be on our way now. So much fur. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. Does anybody else in the chat, anybody at all, have a long-haired cat? All right, well, we don't get to go look at the dead body. Let's go look at uh, bodies of a different kind. <laughs> I've doubt they'll let us inside Sonny, here. You sure they'll welcome us here? No, they won't, but I don't care. I like this new Sonny. Had one for 20 years. Okay, all right, so if you have a long-haired cat, d first, does your cat like chunk on the carpet? Like, are there just chunks of cat, like chunk chunks of fluff? Cappy will like, you know, do the cat scratch thing, but then come out with like a giant, like he pulls an entire ball of hair out while he's scratching and then he'll just like leave it on the carpet. And then for some added fun, for whatever reason, when he gets hungry, <laughs> I mean, this makes sense, like animalistically, he gets hungry. He starts like sniffing everything on the carpet, like little, you know, little pieces of garbage, whatever, starts sniffing around trying to find food. So he'll end up sniffing a, a chunk of hair and then it'll get stuck to his face and then he has no choice but to eat it because like he doesn't have thumbs like what's he gonna do so he just eats his own clumps you gotta brush that fucker regularly man i try he is not a fan of the brush he is not having it you get like two pets and done with this boy i would love to brush him i would love to help him out but uh yeah no he's not pff, not a fan <laughs> okay here's the sexy pictures though are you uh, thinking what i'm thinking I'm a hundred percent sure I'm not. Oh. What are you thinking? Uh, for everyone who missed stream last time, here are your sexy pictures. Pay attention. My cat eats every bit of hair that flies off her or tries to. What? Okay, what? Why though? Why do they do this? Mine loved it, made it very easy. Yeah. We're that's... just standing here staring at these pictures like some kind of starved puppies. You surprised? Don't come across these at the corner store. And somehow I don't think Laura would allow me to decorate our walls with them. Come on, why do you say that? Oh my God, boys. Uh, Paladin, Cookie, here are your, your photos. <clears throat> Take them in while you can before I get blocked by Twitch. Burnt screen intensifies Jesus. <laughs> um, mm. we all we all had feelings about the snake. 
I still have some feelings about the snake. None good. Uh, there was also a mini game to, to zip Squirrel, up. Cat, raccoon maybe. Oh, She's is this a raccoon, just a dude? Woman, Sonny. That's all that matters. Eh, I guess you're right. <laughs> he only cares about what's between the legs. This is definitely a raccoon. Oh my god, you guys, this is a naked raccoon. I thought like maybe lemur. I bet it's a raccoon. <laughs> matters let's go one antelope please some pretty trashy content ha i see what you did there uh but yeah there was definitely a mini game to uh zip up a girl's dress in the lobby last time too which was primo content um i feel like we're just gonna have a discussion with the receptionist and get thrown out of here but hello miss gentlemen I don't worry, miss. She tried to shoot us last time we saw her. Though I admit the temptation is high. I, I just was. Uh... <laughs> She's no know, words. Doll, you did what the madam told you to, right? Please don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. Hey, Marty, you're not going to propose to her, are you? Please, gentlemen, this is very embarrassing and unpleasant for me. What do you want here? Are you tempting fate? Do you want to die? If we wanted to die, we just had to let the ship burn. You know, the one you put well, us you into. Know. I had nothing to do with that. It was Ibn Wessler's goons. Wow, she Wessler's just straight goons? ratted Did him they out. Knock us out too? No, that was us, the girls. But we had no choice. I can't tell you more. Tell us this then. Is the madam here? Secrets. Yes, but I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you. You have to understand that. We'll see about that, sweet pea. Thanks for the help. But I... <laughs> you think this is a good idea, Sonny? Do it! We're gonna make the crocodile even more angry. Do it! Stay outside if you want, Marty. I don't care. Jeez, okay. Okay, boss. I didn't oh say anything. I fear for these boys' lives. The end is nigh. The dead walk among us. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? How dare you I try to kill me? I am a little, but I also must admit I'm relieved. Yes. Relieved? Mm, bullshit. Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my part in it either. How comforting. Look, Mr. Featherland, your investigation clashed with my business and my personal interests. I couldn't let it slide. I don't want to get chomped. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. You really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Not my fault. Har, 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 har. I'm a crocodile. It has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. Whatever yes, you Jora, very much so. so. I really, really appreciate what it. What can I help you with, gentlemen? What the fuck am I here for? Um, nothing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we came for the photos, so <laughs> we got what we wanted. Um, oh, we go to the newsstand. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our girlfriend in the flesh. I can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest to flies highest, Marty. I just made a comment yeah. last time about oh, how I didn't think. Yeah. That's clucking sure. I didn't think we'd met a seagull. Air, thank you for gifting a sub to Cosmo. Cosmo, happy 26 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Air, thank you for gifting that sub. I really appreciate it. So much potential, so much wasted potential. What do you mean? Oh, backbone, backbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have we met the seagull before? Let's get this over with. He's not so bad. I don't Just remember me and this guy. Get used to his style. You had ten years to do that. Nine, and it wasn't enough. I saw that, Jorah. Don't panic, Sonny. You have around five. I'm smart to say my left. name that Maybe way, six Sonny. You fly up to the heavenly chicken coop. So you can still succeed if you try hard enough. Wait, how long do chickens live? I'm gonna die in five years? I'm gonna be dead in five years? Hold on, chicken life span. 
five to ten years. They only live five to ten years? Well, that just makes me sad. Just shut up, Marty, please. Hey there, Timster. Timster. Long time no see. It's Tim Timmy Tim Timster. Hey boys, what a lovely surprise. Do you also have a No, we've definitely Luzani? never seen this man. It's like all of this had already happened, isn't it? Yeah, now that you mention it. I, I wasn't following you boys, I swear. We never said you were, Timbo. But what exactly are you doing here? It's a little far away from Roachtown. Uh, okay, okay, I confess. I was following you. But I simply had to know what this is all about and how it's gonna end. It's my job, after all. But you have to understand, pals. You know, slowly, you bring up a good point. You bring up a really good point. What do they say about chickens with human with the human bodies? I don't... I guess you could, like, average it out. Chickens live for 10, we live for 80. So, average 45? Maybe? I'm a scientist, I ask questions. Well, you're doing a great job. Um, I feel like... Uh, yeah, maybe for... I don't know. The head dies, but the body lives? Oh, God. Are you chicken? Are you man? Are you Micken? Are you Chan? We're definitely Chan. <laughs> We're Chicken Chan. <laughs> Stupid. We're not your pals, uh, Tim. And I'm telling you for the Sam? last time, get the clock off our backs, or it's gonna end up a lot different for you than you think. Yeah, humans don't uh, live very long either. That's harsh. Even from you, Sonny. It's definitely varied. Did something happen? Did you get dragged into something personal? And on New Year's Eve again? Yeah, I mean, what's the chance of that? Bloody New Year's is back? Is there a connection between the two? What happens if it reappears again? Make him stop, it? Marty, or I'm gonna twist his beak off. Hey, uh, okay, okay. That sounds painful. Yeah, my beak is sealed, and I'm gonna keep it low. Very good. You're not so stupid after all, Tim. You must have been just pretending. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> Alright, now that we've intimidated a chicken. Uh, man chicken? Chickens can function without heads? That's true. You're not wrong. I don't, I mean, not for like ever. Damn, we're late. But those chickens here, the seagulls here too. But that jerk's here. Yeah, <laughs> the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, this is where he we're must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. Don't oh, serve bugs here. Oh, I forgot there was like a a bug thing. <laughs> oh, that's very engaging gameplay, but mm, can we go back to the brothel? <laughs> Thanks, Sassy. No, we cannot go back to the brothel. <laughs> hey, well, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? Who? Me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working, especially together like this is the legendary, legendary. chicken police. What the hell's going on here, Tim? Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange. Indeed. Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys. Because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. I forgot well, Archibald and... You could say that if it happened, his face? but it didn't. Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. <laughs> Shut your beak, Marty. Hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Stop Mostly. Babbling. Just answer the question.
What do you mean, legends? Yep, but first. Oh, fine. What happened to Zip? So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone yes. by the time I got here. That Why would be so lame, Evan. <laughs> Could that uh, really happen? I was uh, trying to make that fella talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Ah, right, Tim. My patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that's seabird. Okay, okay, back on wrong. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Ouch. Jesus, Marty. What do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? Was it Zavos this entire time? Because I think I've been saying this twice. She's rich. <laughs> she owns a brothel. Oops. Allegedly, she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Error. I'm, I'm both disappointed in myself and you. Yes. A Hell little bird it. told me God she's been it. entertaining quite a lot of foreign guests recently. I it's mean, good. real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? I was I was thinking it might be a Rickroll, but it was like that, but better. <laughs> well, I don't know, but allegedly she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica, basically from everywhere that matters. And? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a wide berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Have you seen anything weird around Not the Not obvious at all. You mean the smoke Not a guy, you ship? have my attention. Exactly. Squid, that's where you live. Oh. No, I haven't seen that. Timbo's a douchebag, so it's not hard to draw the truth from him. <laughs> well, all right. What the hell are you doing here? So what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking How? about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again. And that you've already turned the whole city upside down. How is it that from this view, this seagull does seem like a complete douchebag? Like, is it the the facial expression where he's like one? What well, I can't do it with my face. I can't do it with my own face. But like one eyebrow up, sort of. I'm gonna have a stroke trying. He just he looks like an asshole. Sequels are just bags, all of them. Okay, well, yeah, you're not wrong. I was like a mirror's face when Sunny faces the cam. Always cracks up without fail. Without fail, it's always funny. It it's always good for a chuckle. I'm a very simple person. <laughs> Seagulls are complete douchebags, though. He's Tim, Tim's just playing the part what else then. Do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha then trashed Madame Zabas's brothel. Hard stuff. Really? That's I'm not all what happened. Oh, okay. and the best. You set fire to a ship, too. Yep, that yeah, one. Yep. Right. Ah, and one more thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that so? And oh, you believe no, all that? We think that well, I'm a we were the murderers. Sonny. It doesn't matter It was what us I all believe. along. Yeah, right. Watchful. You see anyone sniffing around here? Have you here? seen anyone sniffing around here? Two cops came for Zip. They came and went, uh, taking Zip with them, obviously, and didn't do much else. They weren't looking for anything. And what's strange is that Zip went with them voluntarily. Hmm, How that's do you know suspicious. That? Well, I know Zip, and so do you boys. If he didn't want to go, he wouldn't have made it so easy for them. Ain't it the truth? Raccoons sure are wiry fuckers. Um, 
Did the cops take anything? Did the cops oh. take anything? How did that go down? Besides zip, you mean? Yeah. No. At least, I didn't see anything. What happened to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And, uh, I have this personal charm. Yeah, right, the, uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. Uh, I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Evans? Anyway. After he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Who? What is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. We do? Timbo loves to brag, and it's easy to approach him through his ego best if we ruthlessly exploit that. I think, I think it's just his little cheekies. Like, his little, his little baby cheeks. Ah. Uh. Um. A braggart. So, front page article then. Working on a new front page article, eh? Oh, auto's not on. Fixed well, it. if a specific celebrity couple's willing to give me an interview, then uh, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timby. I love Timby. how many different nicknames we have for him. Timby, Timbo, Timothy. Uh, just wait until Timmy steals your fries and shits on your new shirt. Timbo wouldn't do that. Good old nice Timbo. Timster. Timmy Cheru. Um, easy to approach him through his ego. This one sounds like we're boosting him up. As you're so well informed, Timster, tell me about Tim Tam. Well. They say she's kind of angry because someone trashed her brothel. Oh, and that someone was allegedly Timberly. when Marty. That's a good one. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else with a little more truth in it? Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here, too. Gee, that may even be true. Uh, timpani. That one's good, too. Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. Archibald. But you just told us it wasn't them. W wasn't them what? I didn't say they took Zip, because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're really Tim not Tam in the mood Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> hey, I it sounds like a really bad the candy bar. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Tiny Tim is a true fan Tiny of ours. Tiny Tim! And it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Or a basketball move, the Tim Tam Slam. Yeah, yeah, it does sound like that. Because he's going to jail. He's going to the slammer. Uh, he's a true fan of ours. It's time to finally use that to our advantage. Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Oh, Tim Tam honey. is a candy bar in Australia in real not, life. Tim, Tim. That's probably We're why I feel pals. like that way then. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Feels good anyway. I'm glad to hear that. So, Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. 
Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coffers arrived. And in between? Webcam, well, why? I didn't see him in between. Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't there he? There we go. Well, I tried, Sonny. The door so was closed. The 4 I, I zoomies. Even yelled. You had to do you it. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good Zip has you, rabies. Sonny. Nailed it. Uh, is it something in the dog? hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Now you tell me. Shaving children. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way... That's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? Well, I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never gonna talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not gonna talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. Do you think we did a great job? God damn it, I'm still just a decent cop. I want to be a great cop. <laughs> Whatever, I think we did okay. So, what do we know? Zip called the cops on himself and got them to take him in, but why? Zip is hiding something in the hot dog. We must find it before it's too late. Um, Phyllis and Royce were assigned to secure the scene at Natasha's weekend house. I don't think they're they're very useful, but at least they're suitable garden gnomes. Ubo? Helps us on a number of occasions in the past, but we got him out of trouble even more often than that. Mutual. Phyllis and Roy, oh, that's the same message, just on him. We got Zip Rooney. Zip called the police on himself, but why? Was he afraid of something? And then we got the Seagull Boy, Scribbler Tim. Real name, Timothy Saltwater. He's a douchebag, a real nosy bastard, and an annoying little shit. But still, I have to admit, he is the best investigative reporter in Clawville. Back in the day, he had a big part in the chicken police becoming what they were for a long time, real super cops. Super cops, star cops, real star cops. Mm, I can read. Tim is a close friend of Zip, but not even he managed to find out what the old raccoon is up to. Tim knew what happened to Zip very well, and he's most likely keeping tabs on our actions too. Dun dun dun. Uh, Stavonia. St I can't say this name. Stavonia. Hey, reality -o, welcome. Is this the chicken co-op police? No, I'll see myself out. Bye, reality ho! <laughs> Namaste. We need to beat the shit out of you for that joke. Jesus error. All right, Stavonia. Uh, it's a bleak world of proud Stavonians, mostly inhabited by predators and big cats. The political situation between Clawville and Stavonia is quite tense and delicate for both historical and commercial reasons. The Stavonian Sardom was the biggest lo loser of the meat war, but most animals have been considering them the potential trigger of the second meat war and the biggest threat looming over the modern world. I don't like the sound of meat war. Air is full of love. <laughs> he is, he is. Uh, one of the four great underwater countries. What was this? Oh, Nautica. Squid, we're learning about Nautica. One of the four great underwater countries. Nautica is only 1,500 miles away from the border of Clawville. So the two states are connected by close commercial and historical ties. It's a uh, capital city is famous for being entirely suitable for receiving terrestrial animals. Hmm, oh, that's kind of nice. And then Alteria. The two-headed continent, Alteria, may only be the second biggest of the three continents of the wilderness, but it's home to the most advanced and most influential states of the world. Like Nautica, the Stovusardum, Aria, Vilsia, Sowalsia, Vals, 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 and the Fron Empire, and of course, Clawville, the city of a thousand colors. 
There's a lot of hard words there. A lot, a lot of big words. Look at this mess. Looks like he was in a real hurry or was trying to erase his tracks. What's this he boy was got? To hide something. But where? And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I declare me or. It sounded like a thumb war, but. More adults. Marty already looked through it. Nothing interesting. Oh, okay. Ugh, I wouldn't dare touch that. Touch the cold coffee. When we get over this whole mess. I'm gonna take you to a concert. It's only for no, the boys. Keep yes, us I will. Swear. Yeah, just came out and said it, huh? You'll see. Just Competitive wait. meat spin. Jesus. Let's see who can actually lift off the ground. I feel like meat spin has to be painful. Ooh, a nice pancake. I'd rather that. Yeah. Very heavy. All right, so they had that conversation last time, so it's not bad. Aw. All right, uh, what, what else is there? Doodles, Marty. All right, the doodles are the only thing left. Huh. What in, good question. So it's not the doodles. I guess we just talked to Marty? Greetings, pal. What can I get you? Marty. What are you doing, Marty? Marty, you don't work here. A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, our strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? <laughs> right, well, that wasn't helpful. I think poor Marty just lost the last little bit of his sanity. <laughs> poor Marty. Well, it's not in here. Then what? They say an animal's just like his car. Does that mean I'm old and rusty? Well, you said it. What about that's just it? I'm special. No, like a more boys. Hey, old pal, could you help us? Does he understand us? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon went? The one who owns the joint? Nothing. Good talk. Good talk. Um. Hmm. The kingdom of dirty dishes and some trash. Literally nothing else I can click on in here. Did you find so. something? Nothing. Or I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but nothing important to us. Buzz, 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 Whatever buzz, buzz. Oh, maybe that's what I should ask must him. Still be here, or not? Ask him for the next bus? You mean the next buzz? Anything? Still? Well, ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh. ha. What are we to do if we can't find a clue? Hmm. I don't think we have anywhere. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Anywhere else to go. I can't look at the map in here. Old coffee. Maybe it is the jukebox? Oh. Look at this. I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. Where do we find him? What did I, what did I just Timbo find him there? told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The parliament. No, Marty, but close. <laughs> then, no way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be Duh. that simple? And that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Westler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Doesn't he know half the police is in Westler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So? To the PD, then? 
No, I haven't got a better idea. To the cops. Believe me, I'd love to have one. They're just fine, though. Oh. Why did you keep that wristband? Interesting. Very suspicious. I did not feel, feel kind of bad for breaking that. Uh, okie dokie, I guess we leave. Have you found what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. You better, how would you, how would you, how would you zip a beak? Uh, Clawville PD. Oh shit! Clucking furry hell! So they know we're still alive? And oh, they'd shit. like to do something about it. I thought it was gonna be a nice little like, oh shit! How do I reload? Oh, there we go. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive like you're not? Don't shoot them, shoot their car. A fucking I failed. Lunatic. Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive like you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a lot to pay attention to here. Nice. Did it. First try. We could Straight only for the headshot. Listen, I tried. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room, the hole, as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip. Oh, Why Zip. You stay out of this? We gotta save the raccoon uh, boy. Look who's here? The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. Hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes. Shut the fuck up, Royce. And you, don't you have anything better to do? A little late to come I'm to that conclusion. this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. Do you think to make this game, these people went, like, to a zoo and tried to get pictures of animals plastic tie straps what I don't remember what we were talking about when that happened classic cop threatening the press this game man it's a great Mark, shooting mini game I yes, loved chief. it you know what I've heard I have no idea chief you think I'm I think they're both supposed birds. to be hedgehogs Cosmo. No, no we uh, we don't chief what I can look at a second. What ever loving fuck do you think you're doing? Oh, how to zip up a beak! If I may. Yay, okay. Sonny, shut the fuck up. You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Yes, sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire was it me? times? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. Well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You, mm, know you won't find out. I swear, Chief. Ha 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 ha. 
I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your Chief. Get lost. Why does Blood Boil suck so bad? Let's talk to Monica. Talking hey, to her is always Monica. a treat. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. Not yet, but all is not lost. Metaphorically, I mean. So, how can I help you? We need some information. If you're uh, not busy. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information. But I'll help you, as always. You're an angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. Ever since he got neutered, he wasn't the same. That's what's wrong with Chief? Man, I guess I'd be mad too if I was missing my balls. Even if they were involved, they didn't do it. They were victims. That's true. We definitely Sorry, were victims. Boy. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. Sweet baby you Zip. Protocol, Bosco. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Forgot how scruffy he looks. Like it or not, stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? So ah, I forgot guys. how much I hate his nails. I think it's it's Bosco. <laughs> how do I say this? <laughs> You two again. Say, Bosco. Bosco, what's all this about uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. Oh, yeah. More like blood boil. So sorry. Oh, like just because he's in the lobby? Don't drink that shit, Marty. It's sunny. You are bad for my health. <laughs> How are we gonna get him? Sorry, boy. You and... That's the case, boy. Well, what can I do? Uh, maybe not. What can we do to get the boss Some shooting out of there? Just can't hurt, Sonny. I'm sure you're rusty to your bones. Oh, you think so, eh? There's one way to find out. The good old Magnum. Listen, my shooting practice is great. Um, I won that uh, test the first time, so. When did they bring in the trash panda? I, I Not even test an hour ago. the car chase. I won the car chase. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, brain, I can see. Brain can't. The mirror.exe is stopped. Would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. Oh, just a small thing. For old time's sake. Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk. There we go. You. Okay. I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Of course. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size Shoes. 35, high heels, black. Um, yes, ma'am. She Good. seems like the kind that would like hey, heels. Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. Hey. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His wake. Tell your computer went out ah, the window. I see. My condolences. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. What do you think about this uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy. But that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas. A piece of a painting. But it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So... Still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Anytime, boys. Are we done? Worth a shot. Have you ever been to the Nile, Zip? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. 
Did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. If you were a character in this game, what animal would you be? I'm so sad I'm just not seeing this, Cosmo. I'm sorry. Um, it'd probably be a giraffe. I know what animal I would be, but it's not the animal I want to be. It'd probably be an elephant. What makes you say that? Do you have a good memory? Do you have a, do you have a trunk? I don't think I'd be a horse. What would you be, Sassy? I wanna, I, I know what I would want to be, but I don't, I don't know. I would probably, I would probably end up being a raccoon, let's be honest. I'd be a little trash panda. So we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, um, didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 9842372 to be exact. What? All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Mm. Tell us about it. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? We are the cops. We are the cops. Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage, but we're gonna turn the tables. Terribly, terribly good memory and no natural enemies. Oh, did... Elephants don't have any enemies? Who did you escape from? I guess they don't, yeah, they don't. And why here, Zip? Why? They don't really have any predators. <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I wanna live. But I had nowhere to run. Eh, yeah, you know me. The hop dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. If it's people are everywhere, but uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. I love the detail of like him being just disheveled. Like his tie is fucked. I just, buddy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't would. be so sure about that. Real opportunist, trying to turn everything to his advantage, but we're gonna turn the tables. Two meatheads called you a rat, why? How'd you manage to- oh, How'd you have... manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? What'd you do, I buddy? Know. All right. I don't have time for this. Sing like a oh, bird. Oh, he's getting all I shaky! I safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? He I trembles. You know how it goes, Sonny. Was that favor murder? Like Wesler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wesler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella's gone totally insane. Hmm. What did he have what on did you? What he have on you, Zip? You know the drill. I asked something of him once, and he told me one day he's gonna ask me for something in return. And that day finally came, right? Yeah. And I had to do it. Because even if I got out of it, he dragged me back for good. Or worse. Nail your hide to the wall. <laughs> yeah. That's the least he would do, believe me. What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. Okay, so it wasn't I murder. I said you did. I just Why is my webcam throwing a fit today? For the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah, what kind of... Oh, webcam, why? Let's, uh, let's, let's show it who's boss. Um... Boop. Done. Well, now it's just permanently here. <laughs> that didn't help. Focus. Well, that's worse. There we go. Good. 
What are you hiding? Why so blurry? Hiding. I'm hiding a single pimple. Okay, wait, hold up. Uh oh, we can't go back. Okay, cool. A very heavy one. Something about dead a package. Bodies are kinda heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? I didn't. I was bluffing, but uh thanks for the answer. You lousy chicken. Zip's Zip, a secret buddy. little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and try How him did that face him. ever get a wife? Um Knowing his past is no surprise. Take advantage of this and trap him with it because he's secretive. Okay. Hmm. Why use it? Ibn has one? many loyal henchmen for these kinds of jobs. Because uh, it's harder to trace back to him, I guess. He chose you out of the whole city for this particular job. Why? He needed someone who knows the hive well. The hive? So Roach Town, eh? Why? Because I had to get rid of the package there. You mean the body? It's starting to get interesting. What the hell do you think Monica and Bosco are talking about? How is she distracting him? We're having a full-blown conversation over here right now. Um. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? Well, maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. Or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bored, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, I see. You're a foul foul. Why did, why did he keep the wristband? That's a great question. Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because, you know me. I'm trying to tie in every situation to oh, my advantage. Yeah. That's the way Zip works. How, exactly? Bostro, thank you for the resub. Happy four years. You are the third four year person today. 48 going on 50. How's it going, Falstro? Thank you, thank you for that resub. Welcome back to the superheroes. Hello. Who knows? It Close my mind, important. four years. It just fell out of the body bag, and I thought, look, this shit seems important, so uh, why not? That's why they want to kill you. I have no friggin' way of knowing that. Why don't you ask them, huh? What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Where starvation's most prevalent, I guess. I think Where we're going to the hive. fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. Oh my All God. that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Uh, you make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. Just... I got the order. I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. It just... Yeah, that's even for you. Blackmail. Yeah, something like that. It just... Zip it just... may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. He just put him in insect town and the insects ate him? I, fuck, man, this place is fucked. First day in over a week where I haven't been in con on constant pain meds. Kidney stones, it's been a great year, hasn't it? Oh no, Falsdro. Shit, I'm sorry. I've never had those, but I've heard that they're like really bad, especially for dudes. I hope they go away soon. I'm glad you're feeling better this week. Um. Who was the stiff? Who was the stiff, Zippy? I swear I don't know, Sonny. You have to believe me. I have a hard time believing you didn't take a little peek into that body bag, Zip. I didn't dare, okay? I knew they'd kill me if I did. 
It looks like they're gonna kill you anyway. Not if you help me, Sonny. I haven't received enough important information yet, Zip. I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. Suspicious. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners. Exactly. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Uh, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Oh. Yeah, it was. Why? Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Uh, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging you as an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. <gasps> True detective! We did it! Talking to Zip. Yes. You guys, I'm the best detective. I finally did it. First one's gone. Uh, there's one bigger s ooh, still to go. They'll try to shatter it first. I have an appointment in a week. And then there's a few smaller ones as well. We'll see what happens. Well, how do they how do they shatter it? Okie dokie, slowly. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. See you next time. So you're telling me you have no idea what this is. A kick in the kidney. Band. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. So you just took it. Sound waves. Maybe for some oh. blackmailing? That's not what I expected. Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. Sounds painless. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first grade bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just is one log him. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Oh, no. We were just there. Sorry, partner. Bubo again. Bubo! Bubo again! Hey, uh, Bosco. Get lost, sonny. Can't you see I'm talking to Monica? <laughs> well, all right. Uh, okay, we got the information we need. So, now we go back to Boo. Hello, Ursula, <gasps> dear. Ursula's oh, here. What's the rush? Is there something Ooh. wrong? She is a big bear lady. Jilly, welcome. Is it Tuesday already? Tis. Uh, speaking of kidney stones, uh, we're going to take a quick break because Mira has to potty. Uh, boop. There we go. Man, I never get to use this screen as often as I'd like. That purple is so satisfying. Uh, welcome, Drilly. I'll be right back. Uh, everyone, take this opportunity to uh, tinkle, get a drink, do what you need. We'll be right back.
Okay. Did everyone uh drain their uh, lizards? Yep. Yep. That's what I'm going with. Stick into that one. Uh, game is gone. Game, come back. Sexy bear, come back. Tingle, have a drink. Don't confuse the two. Good God. Cups full, bladder empty. <laughs> Glad you mastered that. Uh, I can see at least one reason he bears with her. Oh, please smile. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's the smile. You are correct. All right, let's see what this lady's up. What do you think her voice is going to be like? Believe the dragon. Jesus. Don't go that hard. Wrong. Wrong. That dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, Lord. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. Mm -mm. And Western I didn't do it. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Oh boy. That bear rag. Babylon, welcome. Hello, hello. May I have your attention, please? It's been brought to my attention that I don't pay attention to people who stand at attention, so I'm being sent to detention. Wow. Um, that's, that's a problem, I guess. Did not expect her to actually be a woman? What? Why not? We knew she was a bear woman. Oh, shit. I meant to look up. Oh, somebody remind me when I have access to my journal. I meant to look up what Phyllis and what's his face are. Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help. Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. Why can't I'm we just be friends, to Ursula? To the owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck you with that. Drag oh, queen. And, uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for I don't know us. how you would pull that with off the car. with an animal head. No, I'm starting to regret it. That was rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okie dokie, sassy. Have a good sleep. See you next time. Thank you again for the four years. Double check. <laughs> sleep well. All right, Bubo, we got questions. Say, Bubo, about Ursula. Oh, access journal. Fuck, too late. What about her? Well... That's just it. A bit too late. What if she's not coming back? <laughs> I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining, and Ursula always what does comes that mean? back. Exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Touching, but you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. They are... a hedgehog. And... a porcupine. A hedgehog and a porcupine. Ursula got real, really mad at the old owl, but it doesn't seem to upset Bubo that much. Is he is just dead inside? Bubo, buddy. Zip, Zipster. Zip had to do one last favor for Ibn Wessler. More fittingly, one deadly favor. He hit a body in the hive. We're not sure. Uh, even a bit remained of it. Got some clues. Oops. Wristband, what the hell does it mean? Wristband came off a corpse as if had to hide in the hive on Wessler's orders. Cool. Uh, what do you know about the strange wristband? What do you know wristband? about this wristband, Bubo? 
Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. And? And what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of uh, psychic? Alpine. That I put my hands on it and tell you? Okay, let's try another approach. That rat you mentioned was Zip. Should I be surprised or what? I knew it was him. Yeah. Got his voice. Yeah, we knew you knew. What did that old raccoon do this time? Ibn was blackmailing him with something. That's what we wanted to ask you. Do you know anything about it? I don't care about Wessler's dealings, Sonny. I patch up whoever winds up here, and I don't care if they're cops or gangsters. Yes. Or gangster cops. Yeah, it's the same thing. Eh, yeah, brother. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? It's like a prison warden? How should I know? I could see that. Why should I care? He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. That rang a bell, old owl. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. No. That's more like it. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a corpse, huh? He looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. Out with it, owl face. Okay, owl face. don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. Hmm, the plot the thickens. Very likely from there. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? Yeah. You don't know? I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother. Albert. The plot Albert super Wessler. thickens. Oh, you put it together. A very twin? Skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. I never he's suspect a mad twins. Man kept in solitary confinement. Do you think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? Thanks, okay. Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. All right, I know exactly what's going on. Ibn is actually Albert. Albert broke out of the insane asylum, killed his brother, uh, is pretending to be Ibn, put the wristband on Ibn's body, and got Zip to bury him. Charles, welcome. Hello, hello. I don't think I saw you come in. The plot congeals. Yeah, it straight congeals. That's what's going down. Because Zip said something changed with Ibn. He's like a madman. He's, he's like, he's gone crazy is what he said i think so will wanders never cease i'm pretty sure that's what's going so, on so albert wessler which asylum do you mean bubo it's got some fancy long name i don't remember but i have a brochure let me find it for you brochure Thanks, bubo. Well, here it is. Okay, cool. Let Welcome, Charles. Be peace Happy Tuesday. Forever. Mental institution. Let there be peace for forever. And damaged minds. Quite a beakful. That is a beakful. Where can we find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six-hour drive from Clawville, maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. I guess we have to call You're them. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Whew. Finally? Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just one more thing. What's that, Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. It's always bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat 
bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. Ooh, not while you're alive, eh? Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. You don't love Pleasure us, Boo Boo? Ours, Doc. Make sure, okay, we are done. We are indeed done with Boo Boo Boy. You're the best, Boobo. You finally proved five, useful. Five, 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 nine, six, six. Uh. Yeah. So we want to go back to our hotel. We had to gather hotel? ourselves. Hotel, office, Take a house? deep breath. Where are and we? And think over what we knew so far. <laughs> we live in the hotel. What the chickens had I got myself house office? into? What did I drag Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective <laughs> novel. A cheap one. Yeah, but, uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go <gasps> our separate ways. No! What? Are you joking? Don't bring I up the you best duo! I sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, this you don't so need to sad. be mixed up with it. You, you have know. someone to go home to. God damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because we're a team. We have he been loves a team for us. almost a decade. I don't care what blood boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police. Chicken police Sonny, reunite. And we always will be. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah. Just like you said, even if it kills us. <laughs> no epic. Thanks, Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <sighs> Like you say, partner. Ah, uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, cluck off, Marty. Mm. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Uh, hold on, Cosmo. Did you really just abbreviate this entire thing? Let there be peace forever. Mental. Wait. Institute for the mentally ill and damaged minds. You almost have it. It's beautiful. Yeah, that yep, that's the acronym. That's it. It's stupid. Five five five, what was it? Shit. Five 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 shit. You did great. You did better than I would have done. Uh five 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 nine six six. Seems how I can't even remember the phone number. All right, five, 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 nine, six, six. <laughs> Damn good effort, yeah. No answer. Was it nine, nine, six? Hold on, <laughs> did I get it wrong? No, it's nine, You're six, the six. Best, Bubo. You finally proved you we seriously have to drive four hours? So where exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion. Of, of course, course, of course. I think it's a good idea to go there. What if it's a trap? I told you, you can still go back. 
Huh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum, that's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. I deserve that. You still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of I Deborah still need I need to know more information more. about that. Hey, Sonny, she she didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, uh... Marty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. But, but, wait. But Molly's a parrot. Hmm, I didn't know you used to be a kindergarten teacher. But, leather? It's history, so back off. I'm touched by the trust you have in me, boss bird. There are things better left undisturbed, okay? Yeah, got it. What was that new Kodak century, though? Okay, so Molly's a parrot. Um, do we have new people? The dangerous lunatic. He's definitely masquerading as Ibn right now. I, like, not even a question. Uh, leather and fur used to be high fashion, but nowadays, especially in Clawville, the use of real leather and fur is quite rare. It's not totally legal to wear these kinds of clothes yet. If you can afford it, uh, but it's quite despicable to put it mildly. Okay, so they do wear fake fur. We answered our question from earlier. Dun dun dun! The wristband is most likely from an insane asylum where Ibn Wessler's secret twin was treated. God, it's just this plot. It's crazy. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they Dig say out the about past, the past, all you get is, is dirty. True. It's true. Starvation. Riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Because then the whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachdown. It's true. And it's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. Sounds about right. Uh, I think he was trying to destroy literally all the evidence because, uh, then they could DNA prove that it's not actually evidence. Who'd have thought? I believe that little rat. I thought he changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have Let's another get drink. Get another Maybe drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. As in, like, maybe we should head to the one place? I can't use my map right now, and I don't... I don't understand why I'm trapped here. I've had enough stimulation for today. Wow, he actually turned down whiskey! Shit. I still have nightmares about the Great Fire. Really? Were you alive then? How old are you exactly? I was three. And maybe it's not even a true memory. Just the collective memory of the city. What are you doing, Captain? I see the flames. I see the burning buildings, what are you doing? and I hear the screams. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you weren't born in Clawville. Aren't you from Iveria? Exactly, Marty. We were just visiting Clawville when the fire. Oh, that out. sucks. I'm surprised you ever returned. Go for vacation well, and get fucked. Maybe that's the reason fucked. I did return, Marty. It's like when someone falls in love with their captor, you know. Somehow, I feel like this is my place. No matter how much suffering it brings, Clawville's fate is intertwined with mine. 
Heavy stuff. Jesus, Sunny. Um. The Great Meat War was the biggest and most bloody conflict in known history of the wilderness, ranging from 822 to 849. In the beginning, it only affected Alteria, the two-headed continent, but in its later years, it spread to 12 col colonial provinces, including all of Clav Clawville's four colonies. During the Meat War, about 80 to 90 million animals died. Jesus. And after the war, 27 species were declared extinct. Fuck. Please say it more like do not never. How do I leave here? How do I leave my house? How do I leave? I don't know how I got trapped here. Oh, I must have done it wrong last time. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being uh, uh, treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information if you don't have the password given to relatives. Do you have one? Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. Oh, I see. In that case, officer, I'd advise you to visit our institution personally. Our director and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself a beautiful, starlit night. That's a weird well, way to sign off. Thanks. A beautiful Goodbye. starlit night? There's the location. So, okay. we have to go there. Ah, the thought gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you? Ha ha ha. People call that chicken skin, I think? Why won't it let me use my fucking map? What is going on? I need something from the cabinet. Books. Books. Tonight. Conversation about the window. Look in the drawer. When all of this is not a go. What's going on? Do I need to think about Molly? <sighs> Shut up, Mark. <laughs> what? Not uh, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we've talked about all this. Who's that? that Maybe not. <sighs> Do I need to turn off the lights before I can leave? Let me leave! You guys can see this, right? Like, it's... It's grayed out, I can't... You're the... You're the... Why... Come to... It's a piece... Molly... I don't understand Ironic, what's going on... I should have never come here. I'm trapped. Do I need to call... What's his name? Lewis? Maybe you have to have an emotional conflict with Marty first? Pretty sure you dialed it right. Oh, Mary. Who's Mary? Eight six seven five three zero nine. I don't think that's the number. Don't think that's the one. What do you think, Marty? We get out of here, what? Marty. You care? Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. So what do you think about everything? Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Aben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Uh, it doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. If he's the dead body, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we got to ask him directly. And what do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case, and that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> courtesan? Oh, courtesan? Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly. Ah, oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? She's not part of my life anymore, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case. 
and on making it out alive, and helping Natasha, too. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be, or she could even be behind everything. No, you don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. There Let's we go. See. Jesus. Things got mixed up at the brothel. All right. Um, Zoys? Natasha's secret? Nope. Um, Molly's name? Well, that's stuck, so I guess that stays. Natasha was the courtesan of before, but Ibn tried to keep that a secret. He did do that. Natasha used to work there, that's obvious. And Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. Okay, and then... Oh, that's not it. A secret, it seems. Somebody else had to pay for. Um... Oh, shit. I think that's the first time I failed at that. Um... Somebody died for that secret. Zip hid the body, but he kept the wristband. Yeah, we know that. Who could it belong to? The Duh. dead body was almost certainly All of this Albert is like Wessler, a common sense to me, so I have a hard time. But why did he Like it's to too die? easy. Like duh. We already we already put all this together. This was already a thing that we did. Oh my god, it still won't fucking let us. So I get the couch? It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for you to sleep in. Whew, great idea. Oh man, I don't remember his number. Uh... Louie! Five, 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 nine, three, two. Oh shit! Thanks, thanks, sir. Just have to ask chat. Did you write that down? Are you investigating with me right now, <laughs> Louis? Baby, thanks, hey, Laura. Appreciate uh, it. It's Nailed it. Again. Oh, hello, Sunny. What's up? Will you sleep? I'm still down? suspicious of Louis. Hey. Ah, uh, gotcha, Eric. Would you room for Marty? <laughs> Naturally, Sonny. Thanks, Lewis. I'm not even gonna say it. I, I will. You won't need much. Again. Oh my yeah. god. He's keeping tabs over there. I, I guess I go to bed. Like to take a peek inside. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Marty. I wouldn't do it if I were me, either. Oh, it gets more and more enticing. Oh. Now we can leave? So Marty's staying, I'm going. Chapter four, farewell, my lovely. I slept like I used to sleep years ago, like a miner. Or a soldier. I think we sleep Empty. and then leave, maybe? Dead yeah. Tired. Maybe that. Then I saw Tessa, my darling little daughter. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't recall her face. An I animal. reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. What kind of animal does a chicken and a parrot make? Then I saw Molly. But she wasn't real, just the ghost of a memory. Talk about a nightmare, bruh. And here I cried, but all I heard was laughter. Not hers. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. 
Just stood there laughing, but her eyes were cold. Then she said something. Painted red, painted red, painted red. That was just a dream, Sonny. Nothing more. I looked at Marty and I saw the same thing in his eyes as he probably saw in mine. Okay, it's so he slept to in the hit left. the brakes, to turn back, go home, and forget about all of this. <laughs> of course, I stepped on the gas instead. Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything good, but this. Ooh, just like a horror movie. I was thinking the same. Ooh, exciting. Appearances can be deceiving. Let's hope so. I love a good haunted mansion. Uh, okay, hold up. Real quick, let's see. What color would you like your accent nail? Paint it red! That sounds about right. Um, okay, this is a fairly long chapter. So, I feel like... Hmm. I don't know if we could finish it in 15 minutes or not. What is this? This picture. It's very special. It's, so it's something. This guy seems strangely familiar to me. You don't say. You've been treated here too. That would explain a lot. Sorry. Oh, don't be stupid. I'm serious. Take a closer look. No. Well? No, it can't be. Are you telling me it's him? M.B. Davis himself? I'm sure of it, pal. It seems the gossip was true. The eternal king of jazz in a madhouse. Sad oh, day. No, no, no. The poor devil. This place is actually kind of creepy. There's nothing but hills and forests for a hundred miles. Red rum. It did Imagine have a red rum feel. Imagine how many poor lunatic ghosts must haunt those woods. Ooh, Sonny, you're creeping me out. We should check in. Of all the great wild ones. Greetings, miss. Is it really you? <laughs> well, uh... Yes. Yes, it really is you. The Spellum, is that you? I'm afraid so. Oh, of all that's furry and plumy, that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, miss, are you okay? Like to ask... Please, don't be scared. I'm just really, really, really excited. You know, I've read every book about you and your adventures, and I even collected newspaper articles when I was a little girl. Indeed. Jesus. You can't imagine what an honor it is to meet you in person. Uh, for anybody who's seen the SNL skit of the surprise party one, where the lady, like, really likes surprise parties, that's the energy this lady's given off. We really... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Take a deep breath, Miranda. Take a deep breath. Are you okay, miss? Yes, I am. I just needed some air. So, dear detectives, Santino and Martin, what can I do for you? Well, miss, uh, we have some questions, if you don't mind. I'd love to answer all of your questions, detectives. Oh, boy. The wolf howl is a weird one. Uh, the wild gentleman, a civilization organization, civ Jesus, a civilian organization, <laughs> uh, started by the four most influential and wealthiest animals in the city. The fire of 1867 had almost entirely wiped Clawville off the face of the wilderness when the great gentleman intervened and built the city anew using all their money and influence. They were heroes, or at least they were regarded as such. Some believe the fire was their doing, 
but it was all part of a national conspiracy, but most likely we'll never know the truth. Um, I think I'll go ahead and try to finish this tonight just because I will likely be dead on Thursday and not able to stream. So let's uh, let's let's see if we can go a little bit longer and finish this up. Uh, an overly nice nurse we met behind the desk of the asylum. Her name is Miranda. She's an embarrassingly huge fan of the chicken police. Say, miss, uh, what can you tell us about this place? Our institution was standing even before the Great Meat War, and during the war, it was transformed into a military hospital. Since then, we are relentlessly working on treating injured minds under the leadership of Dr. Quetzal, the famous Quetzal. specialist. The place seems pretty oh boy. empty. Do many we got people a snake, ma'am. We have 32 residents and seven nurses, including me. We also have a three-person maintenance and cleaning staff, and, of course, the heart and soul of our institution, Dr. Quetzal himself. I see. Now, this Dr. Quetzal, Qu Quetzal. is he the director here? Try saying it. It's kind exactly. of fun. Exactly. Director, scientist, researcher, patron, and doctor. And even a friend. Quite a guy. He certainly is. Uh, there's probably, uh, some, like, bad experimentation juju going on, you know? Sensu- sens- sensuous? Quetzalcoatl? So who is this oh Dr. Quetzal exactly? He's a world-famous researcher of the mind, Mr. Featherland. He well, published duh. countless it's books always. in the fields of psychology <laughs> and psychotherapy. Psycho- what? Unraveling the mind. It's the most crucial mission of the century, Mr. McChicken. That's really good to know. So this doctor's some celebrity, right? Does he usually meet uh, other important persons? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, like uh, Mr. Hobart Wessler, for example. Ah, yes. That's something you should ask the doctor himself, but unfortunately, I don't think he has time right now. He's swamped, is he? Exactly, Mr. Featherland. He is very, very, very busy all the time. Quetzalcoatl is a bird? I thought it, I, I thought it was a Mayan god. I didn't know it was a bird. In this, it's a snake doctor. The snake doctor? Well, did the Mayan god have something to do with snakes? I bet it's pointing towards that. Uh, just a little bit of this in your veins and you'll feel right as rain. Yep, that sounds about right. Feathered serpent deity of ancient Mesoamerica. Okay, so it was a serpent thing. A quetzal is a bird, though. Okay. I mean, probably off of the feathered serpent thing, right? I thought so. Serpent god. Okay, cool. Now, what can you say about this, miss? Have you uh, seen anything like it? Of course. Our residents wear these for identification. But how did you come by it? They only wear them inside the institution. Huh, I see. The wristband does belong to one of our residents. But I'm afraid I'm not allowed to tell you more due to regulations. Oh, come on, Miranda. It's us. The Milk it, police. Marty. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Miranda. This case is a matter of life and death. Lives are in your hands. Jesus, Marty. <sighs> All right. All right. I'll do it. Albert Wessler. Got a snack. The patient's name is <laughs> Albert Tadius Wessler. Figures. Just as we thought. Thank you, Miranda. We'll never forget this. Please, don't make me blush. And don't tell anyone you heard it from me. Oh, we I mean, won't. I, I didn't hear from you because I pretty much already knew it, so thanks. So when can we talk to Mr. Wessler? I need to ask Dr. Quetzal. Please wait here. Thank you. I'm still surprised nobody has made a snack stand in the airport named Pretzel Quetzal. Oh my god. Oh, would that be seen as like... What's the word I want? making fun of a god though would that piss some people we should off go to reception first i feel like that would piss some people off insane ghosts in the woods Marty. 
It is a good funny. name, though. It's not funny. Yes, but that never stopped anyone. You're not wrong. You're Dr. not wrong. Petzl will see you. He's waiting for you in his office. Up the stairs, all the way down the hall, until the last door. What a surprise. It's enough to mention Wessler's name, and all the doors are open. I wouldn't want to get mixed up in this, but do you think Albert is in danger? Danger? What do you mean? We haven't heard from him since he disappeared, and we're really, really worried. I see. Uh, we don't know yet, miss, but let's hope for the best. Great Wild Ones protect him. Where Try us he? and see what no happens? Idea, Jesus, this Auntie smell. Anne. Ugh, of all that's furry, I'll never get used to it. Well, reptiles have a disgusting body odor, Marty, but they feel exactly the same about us. Exactly. Great. This guy's Wild creepy. Ones, you scared this the guy's hell scary. Out of me. I already sensed your arrival from afar. You know, I hate snakes it. have a different sense of smell, and birds used to be our prey once upon a time. Well, yeah. I hate it. Luckily, we're living in civilized times. Lucky. Please take a seat. How can I help you, gentlemen? Oh boy. What do we look at first? The Your walls. This is uh, rather Puritan. <laughs> Simple, I mean. Seg. It's Sneg. Well, yes. I can't God, he feels like Dracula. Wander from my work. I only keep what's essential in my office. I see. That makes sense. Why do you have bars on your windows? Because it's a room like all the others, and I'm just an animal too, like all our residents. With the significant difference of you being a I didn't doctor, think he sounded German. Patient. Am I right? It's not as big of a difference as you'd think. Kind of sounds like Stewie. <laughs> to be honest, gentlemen, your visit is anything but a surprise. Doesn't sound super German. I could even say I was oh, British, yeah, maybe. It. What an introduction. British, Please yeah. Please forgive me. I have the bad habit of immediately getting into the middle of things. How very rude of Oh, me. he's going to say his full My name. My name is Dr. Sessuous Quetzalcoatl. But Quetzalcoatl. most call me Dr. Quetzal to keep it simple. The name is Santino S Featherland. Sessuous. And this is my partner, Martin McChicken, from... From the predatory division of the Clawville Police Dr. Department. Dr. Creep it is. Your fame is one step ahead of you. Uh, we're used to it. Certainly. We have some questions about one of your patients, if you don't mind. We'd like to talk to him, if that's possible. Please be specific, detective. Look, Doctor, we're too tired to play cat and mouse. Not that snake and chicken sounds any better. Very funny, I must say. Just what I expected from you two detectives. We know you know it's about Albert Wessler, Ibn Wessler's secret twin. Ever since we've said his name, all the doors have miraculously opened. That's what we call a bullseye. Well, yes. Why should I deny it? We're talking about a rather illustrious patient here who's also a very particular medical case. What kind of crazy now, is he? That's much more interesting. So, are you willing to talk about him? Because Albert regrettably has disappeared, and you are police detectives, I have no reason not to talk to you. Of course, I'm at your service. But you must understand, I can't disclose information about my patients. Not even if it's a matter of life and death. Everything's a matter of life and death in here, detective. This is a hospital, even if it's primarily for the mind, not the body. Still, I'd like to no, give no the cause for concern. A it's try. fine. Please, detective. His brother isn't a crime lord or anything. Your job, and I'll do mine. Are you sure you're doing your job? Because patients are escaping, buddy. Are you sure? You're positive you're doing what you meant you're supposed to be doing. We still have another mystery person. 
Professor is a real polyhister? Scientist, writer, philosopher, and who knows what else. We have uh somebody else. Oh, Albert has. We have a bingo! He disappeared from the asylum. Cool. How long was Albert a resident of the institution? For quite some time, his first symptoms surfaced in his teens. Depression, panic attacks, and schizophrenia. Was he brought here immediately after the first signs that something wasn't right? You know, the Probably biggest history. problem with Person of wide knowledge we're learning. Okay, cool. Is that animals are ashamed of it. That's the reason our institution stands out here in the middle of nowhere. Because animals would rather hide what they're afraid to face. I couldn't have said it better myself. As far as I know, the Wessler family wasn't exceptionally wealthy. Indeed, they were rather poor, but we offer our services gratis. Then how do you sustain yourselves? By the grace of the treasury of King Hector III, oh. of course. I wouldn't have guessed that. My family and the royal dynasty had always been on good terms, Mr. Santino. What kind of a place is this exactly? I assume it wasn't built as an insane asylum. It used to be a mansion. Construction started during the occupation in 622. Then it stood empty for almost a century until finally it went to the crown of Clawville when Hector's great-grandfather took the throne. The rest is history. How long have you been working here? I've worked here for more than 30 years, but it's been in my family's possession for almost 150 years. So if I count correctly, as soon as it went to the crown, it was seized by your family. That's almost accurate, Mr. Featherland. What a lovely inheritance. By the way, Miro, I'm waiting for the conspiracy about the queen to be revealed, counting the days until next year. Dude, same. It's such a weird conspiracy, but I so deeply want it to be true for some reason. Tell me, Doctor. I'm so do here you know for it. Madame Zavos. Just like everybody else, I've heard of her, but I never had the pleasure of meeting her in person. I'm sure she's an interesting case. Oh, you can be sure about that. I'd gladly get you two together if I had the chance. A spare cell would suit her very much. Uh, Foster, the conspiracy theory is that the Queen of England is dead. Currently, uh, she pre-taped her Christmas, like, announcement whatever thing. No one's actually seen her in a really long time. Um, but the amount of things the country would have to do if she was actually dead um is like astronomical so they're like pushing it back announcing it until after the holidays they had to um they have to like go into like some weird period of mourning or something so they would have had to have canceled christmas and new year's if they announced it like when it happened uh so they are delaying announcing it so that they don't have to do that that's the conspiracy theory she's old amp it's completely plausible it's completely possible she could be dead. Uh, we found, Box and I found this on like some very obscure Reddit thread thing. So it's out there, man. It's out there. I didn't make up the conspiracy on my, on my own. It was presented to me, so. If they canceled New Year's, they would have been forever stuck in 2021. Did you hear, what was it? In Korea, whichever Korea is the the crazy militant one, um, the ruler banned laughing because they needed to mourn the 10th anniversary of his dad's death or some shit. North, North, North Korea. Uh, so he banned laughing. What? Like, how? what? How do you know what one the bad one is? Amps. 
When someone tells me to turn right, I turn left. That's that's how I don't know. Okay, I get shit mixed up. South is BTS land. <laughs> Had a good laugh on that. Ha! <laughs> uh, it backfired on him, didn't it? Is Everybody else laughed. So, as it turns out, she likes small, narrow, secret places. Oh, I see. What a coincidence. Oh, we're supposed to be doing this now. Mm, Dr. Quetzal's a real mystery. But I can turn that to my advantage. I just need to focus on the strangest pieces of the puzzle. Oh boy, he hates us. Oh no. So when did Albert become a resident of your institute? Albert and Hobart, or Ibn as you call him, arrived here almost exactly four years ago. Could you describe that day uh, more specifically? It was not long after New Year's Eve, maybe the first week of the year, if I'm not mistaken. It was sleeting that day, wind was banging incessantly on the windows, the power was going out for short periods of time. What was your first impression of them? I already knew the Wessler name. I knew who they were. Or at least I knew one of them. Hobart Wessler. He was famous. Gangster, moneylender, celebrity, lover. And Albert? He was new to me. An invisible grey ghost. The family had tried to keep his existence a secret. Why? Because they were ashamed of him, of course, Mr. Featherland. That's how it usually is. What was your first impression of him? He was silent, but observed everything that surrounded him. His eyes were constantly moving, never stopped for Shifty a bitch. second. Was he afraid? I wouldn't say so. It seemed to me that he wanted to move into our institution voluntarily. It looked as if he couldn't wait to be here. That's alone, weird. Locked up in silence and darkness. Didn't you think of that as unusual? Sus. Of course that I was did. Sus. But who am I to judge? It was rather special treatment. <laughs> Cosmo. Sus. Um, addicted to details. What kind of what treatment? What kind of special treatment did Albert get? You know, if an institution like ours has to accept a Wessler as a guest, there's bound to be some favoritism. And complete secrecy, I guess. Yes, but that's the case for all our patients, Mr. Featherland. Of course. So in what way did he receive more than the others? Basically, we don't admit anyone into our institution without a complete and thorough prior assessment. In the case of Albert, we put that aside. Good news. So you didn't even know if he had anything wrong with him? Initially, no. He was more of a guest than a patient. Okay. Daydreamer. on the strangest pieces of the puzzle. How did he relate to you? How I'm going to this relate to you. Albert was immensely sophisticated and polite, so much so that his true emotions and thoughts could not be deciphered. And that's why you thought of him as an exciting case. That's right, Mr. Featherland. I see you're starting to get to know me in some way. I'm just doing my job, Doctor. You and me both. Oh, that worked a little bit. 
Did he have multiple personalities? I Oops. Very quickly that Shit. there was no other reason for the cause of his seizures. He had a cold and calculating personality who sometimes, especially on stormy my days, strongest potions will kill you, traveler. You can't to handle my strongest potions. My you better go to a seller that sells weaker potions. <laughs> Truly, thank you for the sound biddies. I would not be getting my potions from this doctor. Are you shitting me? That's who he sounds like, but with like extra asses. Extra yeah, asses. Seizures from the beginning. Yes, Thank Mr. you for the sound that is, Jilly. But they started Potion to intensify seller. after I'm telling you I need your strongest potion for the first I'm time. I'm going into battle. Can't have his potions. He looks a bit like a snake oil salesman. Yeah, 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 I can see that. He's kind of like swarmy. Yeah. Thank you for the sound video's error. He did what? Left the institution more than once? Oh, yes, Mr. Featherland. Albert left the institution on several occasions until the last that's, time. That's weird. When you, he failed you shouldn't do that. to come back. Shouldn't just let them wander. Not only very observant, but he's addicted to details. I must focus on that if I want to get closer to the truth. Focus. Addicted to details. When and why? When and why did Albert leave the institution for the first time? That's a time? detail. It was about two years ago. Mr. Hobart Wessler appeared and demanded we let his brother go free. Naturally, we obliged. We had no idea if we'd ever see him again. But you did. He returned the same day. Albert was ecstatic. He was unrestrained. I could almost say <laughs> happy. That was unusual for him. I had never seen him like that before, Mr. Featherland. He just smiled and stared at the empty wall for hours. Did he ever tell you what happened to him outside? No, of course he did. Albert and I had a good relationship. He was working on a painting for his brother. Was it a painting of a lovely lady cat? Oh, exactly. So you already knew about that. Yes, Dr. Quetzal. Oh, I've shit. seen it. Oh, shit. He made that painting? Um... Has Albert ever talked to you about Natasha? Only in superlatives, as if he wasn't talking about a real person, but an ethereal being, about an angel or a demon. Bye, Something Cosmo. That is Thanks for being here. See you world. next time. And what did you think about his uh, fantasies? We are in an institution where almost everyone is hallucinating on a daily basis, Mr. Featherland. It didn't really bother me, but the fluctuations of positive and negative were more disturbing. I think I'm really hard. Thanks, Doc. I didn't understand a word, but I think I get the point. That one was, yeah, a minus. So Albert left on many occasions Fuck that one to continue up. working on the painting. Exactly, Mr. Featherland. Every time he came back, he was like a different person. But unfortunately, his seizures also multiplied and became more dangerous. More dangerous. He does sound a little bit drunk. Albert yeah. was hurting himself. And on one occasion, he even tried to hurt me. It was unprecedented. It seemed his confined personality was taking over their shared mind entirely, piece by piece. Do you think the painting caused it? Not the painting, Mr. Featherland. But its subject. Natasha exactly. made this dude lose it? obsessed right until that fateful day when he returned to us for the last time. What exactly happened that day, Doctor? 
It wasn't Hobart. I who think so, his back I'm thinking. That day, but two of his gorillas. Not literally, I mean. And Albert was in a terrible, terrible state. What happened to him? I don't like to talk about that, Mr. Featherland. What the fuck? Why it not? It could be vital to the case, Dr. Quetzal. Don't back down. Oh, you're right. There's no use turning back now. So, Albert's tongue was torn out, or cut off, I don't know exactly, and he was blinded in one eye, or rather, one of his eyes was missing entirely. So you're saying Albert was brought back horribly mutilated? There goes yes. my theory. And they didn't give any explanation as to what Unless that happened. was Evan they back then, too. told me it was some kind of accident. Dr. Quetzal is cold and professional, but he's also very confused. Maybe it's cruel, hmm. but I must exploit his vulnerability if I want to learn everything about Albert. Focus, confused. Hmm. You didn't believe Albert had an accident, is that right? Of course not. I'm not naive. I knew immediately that Albert had been severely battered, and I was sure it had been his brother, Hobart. Well, we don't know that, Dr. Quetzal. Would you defend a monster? Take it easy, Doc. One of the most critical elements of my job is not to make assumptions. You're absolutely right, Mr. Featherland. I'm sorry I got carried away. It's all right. Happens to everyone. Oof. Ouchie. Zero, welcome. Hello, hello. What's his first name? Who? The snake guy? Or he's a sessuous? <laughs> Quetzal? Concentrate, Doctor. What do you think happened to Albert? I'm sure it was Hobart. He ordered his men to mutilate poor Albert. But why would he do that? Maybe Albert saw something he could accidentally reveal. To whom? The four walls? A couple of crazies? You? To anyone, Mr. Featherland. I don't think it's that simple, Doctor. What kind of but ship is this man running? thank you for your honest opinion. You're welcome, Detective. What happened then? How did Albert disappear? A few weeks later, Hobart came to visit Albert one more time. Albert had been in terrible condition by then. We even had to transfer him to another cell. A more safe one. What did Hobart exactly, do during the visit? Spelling. He didn't do anything. He just sat and watched his brother, who was uh, in an almost vegetative state by then. Couldn't you manage to draw anything out of him? You or Hobart? Nothing. For a while, he was trying to signal something. Perhaps he was too afraid. And most likely his fingers had been broken too, so he couldn't even write. Do you think Ouchie. Hobart could have killed Albert? It hurts my little hands. It's horrible to say it, but I'm sure of it. How did he disappear in the end? Did someone come for him? That's what's most eerie about it all, Mr. Featherland. He simply disappeared. His door, which only I had a key for, was open. Hmm. Did anyone see anything? No one. We interrogated the staff, even the patients. He simply vanished off the face of the wilderness. We don't know what happened to him. Unfortunately, I have a hunch. We do? Thank you, Doctor. You've been a great help. We, ha we have a oh, hunch? Well, I'm glad I could be of help. But please, I now must attend to my I didn't work. know we had a hunch. We understand, Doctor. Thank you. 
We did like kind of okay. Yeah, that was an oof. Still just a decent cop. Um, what do we think happened? I, I, this is the first time I'm not catching on to the hunch. Besides the fact that it might have been, oh, Ibn has two pages now. Ibn most likely killed his own brother, uh, Albert Wessler, and had Zip dispose of the body. This seems the most plausible right now, anyway. No, it does not. You're being bamboozled. Um, here we go. Professor's family has governed the mental health facility and its estate for more than 100 years. Quite a heritage, eh? He's uh, cold, reserved, and endlessly professional in his own field, but the thing that happened to Albert got a rise out of him. No surprises there, I think. Albert's brother, Ibn, took him out of the asylum on several occasions to paint the fateful picture of Natasha. I think we have a motive, gentlemen. It could really go either way, though. Uh, this is the half-century occupation. Since its foundation, an attempt to conquer Clawville has been made once. The half-century occupation started in 622 and lasted until 677. During this time, the Harar Empire took over all of Clawville's territories except its colonies, which in the end, with the help of Swalasso and Valslava, took back control over Clawville. I can't pronounce those places. I did my best. Uh, oops. Adam Wessler disappeared. I have a hunch about what could have happened. Um. We need to let them know we're here. I, we're definitely, we are here. Sorry, but I. Neither can we. You can't imagine. Uh, miss, those. Don't even tell me. No, no, no. I don't want to know. Let it. No, I, I didn't mean. Leave it to me, Sonny. I'm good at this. Thank. No. Uh, we won't be. We love you, past you though, lady. No. Is there anything left to be doing here? It just leads to his office. Huh. That was. Can't talk to him. This picture. Well, it must have been made by one of the patients, so it's Oh, Albert must have made it, yeah? Because he paints? It's the handiwork of our director. He's not only nope, a scientist, never mind. Snake Man. but he's a Snake great Man painted painter, it. too. I see. That's weird. Well, it's lovely to have a hobby. Call it great. Right? That's right, Marty. It's, um... Very stylized. Put it on the fridge. There's like screaming in the background. I don't know if you guys can we hear need that. To let them know. They we know need, we're we here. Need. They know. That's. I think you understand why we kept it a secret. If it wasn't for Mr. Wessler's can't demand, I keep getting we'd never places. let any of our patients. Then the. Uh, the accident happened. Accident? <laughs> we didn't believe it. Not for a second. After Albert came back to us, horribly mutilated, he was different. Different how? Ah. If someone got ah. one of his eyes poked out, got it. and Nailed his it. tongue torn out, he'd be different. But not like this. Albert was a different person. We believe you, Doctor. So, can we take a look at Albert's cell? I'd rather call it his room. There Mr. it is. Mr. Wessler uh -oh. lived in exceptional circumstances. Thanks oh, no. to the Wessler name, I guess. 28, why is someone yes. shooting off fireworks right now? Well, we try to make all of our patients <sighs> stay as comfortable as possible, but Albert certainly ork, enjoyed ork. He special hates fireworks. favoritism. I hope you don't mind if we take a look around in there. That's not going to bother anyone. Well, that's uh, surprising. I've never seen a cell like this before, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Do you also hate fireworks, Epic? Are people are shooting fireworks when I got home from work this evening? What the hell? What is wrong with people? Like, it is literally illegal any other day of the year. Sometimes it's illegal year-round, depending on where you live. And you literally are, like, shooting off a beacon of, like, hey, come get me, I'm doing something bad. I don't... 
I don't fucking get it. I don't know. I just, I don't understand it. People here are really firework happy, too. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a cell like this before, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, some f guy farted across town. Let's set off fireworks! <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's accurate. Yes, and also... They haven't changed. In the 28 years I've been alive, they haven't changed. You shoot them off, they look the same. Like, I've seen them once, I've seen them a thousand times. Someone who used to be in some firework fights. I don't know what you mean. Oh, Lord. It seems that being a Wessler gets You're a you danger, Dan. And a healthy dose of danger. Mostly that, yeah. Let's take a good look around. I'm sure we'll find some answers here. I can almost smell them. Well... I smell paint, ink, plaster, some kind of oil, aging paper, slight smell of rat, and great expectations. What the dickens? <laughs> Unmistakable. Yeah, this place is bad for you, pal. But if you've already jump-started your beak holes, uh, then sniff out the solution. That was a good joke. I'm on it, boss bird. Great Expectations is a book written by Charles Dickens. For anyone who didn't get that joke. Oh! Oh my god, you guys! A handful of wobbles! It's Inspector Wobbles! Oh my god, bless these people making animal murder mystery games and doing crossovers. Oh, fuck. I love it. That's the best. All right, what else we got? Oh, geez. He's got a mess. Identical twins. And looking at it, they may have easily loved the same woman. A handful of waffles. Somebody grew up in Inspector woman. Waffles? Apparently. Nothing good ever comes of that. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Of all the wild ones, Marty, please stitch up your beak, okay? Just use your imagination, old bird. Marty, no. Is he really insinuating a twin threesome right now? Scribbles, newspaper articles, study papers, poems, perfect chaos. Just like the troubled mind of a troubled fella. Yeah, but there's still a kind of order in it. It's just too intricate for you to comprehend. If you say so, boss. Look at that. A letter. It's a letter! What does it say? Rip open my bag. Identical twins. This. And looking at it, they hmm. may have easily loved the same. Albert was madly in love with Natasha and would have done anything for her. I'm afraid he did exactly that. Wait, I wanted to read that, sir. I know... I don't exist. I don't exist because you don't see me, but I'm not what you think I am. You don't think about me, do you? Never. No. I think of you every day, every minute, always, in my dreams. I have become one with him, one soul. You know who I am thinking about, right? Can you feel it? Can you feel that I'm there too? With you, do you feel it, right? I can't hold it in myself for long. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, please, I'm sorry, but I can't help it. The world is crashing down, the whole world just rotting and rotting, everything is rotting around me. I have to get out of here to become one with my destiny and one with you. Forgive me. Uh, Albert was mad. A little bit insane. What do you make of this? Apart from the <laughs> fact the guy was Air, totally are you, are insane. You, are you fracturing over there, know. buddy? What should I? That maybe we've been chasing the wrong person all this time, Marty. What do you mean? Everything will be revealed soon. Sonny Why gets do you it. have to be so melodramatic all Sonny of a gets sudden? It. If I'm right, this'll flip the whole case upside down. What's that, Sonny? A blurb from some horrible novel? I just have to think things through before I come to any hasty conclusions, Marty. Ugh, you're killing me. So, what now? Where to? Back to Clawville, where we can finally put all the pieces together. <sighs> You're driving me crazy. But all right, let's go home. 
Oh wait, no, I didn't get to look at anything else? Ah. I wanted to look at the wall. What can you tell us about the woman in the photo we saw in Albert's room? Do you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko? Well, yes. I don't know much about her, but everyone heard her name and her voice around here. Did she ever visit this place? Never. But if you ask me, Natasha probably didn't even know Albert was a resident of our institution. And Albert, did he mention her often? Constantly. It was obvious he had an affection for Miss Katsenko, but... I wouldn't have thought for a moment he could escape because of her. Uh, I wouldn't yeah, jump ahead, he would. Doctor. Something else could be behind Albert's disappearance. Uh, Do you think so? All the signs clearly indicate this. Maybe they do, Doctor, but in my line of work, logic's not always the best advisor. In 99% of cases. Exactly. But this one typically belongs to the remaining 1%. If you say so. Okay. We can leave now. Oh, I don't believe this. Those two Oh, again? shit. Oh, Take God. My car won't last much longer. Not my don't car. Don't worry, Sonny. I was born to do this. Oh, Lord. Where's Big Bertha when you need her, eh? Are you blind or what? Where did you learn to shoot? Man, lay off. I'm doing my best. God damn it. Gun, hold more bullets. Nailed it. Well, that was close. A little too close for my taste. And it only strengthens my belief. Wessler is desperate. He knows if we survive, he's done for. Well, come on, what did you work out? Will you tell me already? Sure. Let's put the picture together, piece by piece. Let's start from the beginning. All right. So, we got a case. Um, Ibn. Oh. No. No. Uh. Um. Nasha wanted us to find the painting? Natasha tried to show us the painting. Um. And that painting would have shown us the way. To find the secret hideout. Uh, to Ibn and Albert Wessler. The asylum to the corpse, maybe? Nope, that wasn't it. Uh. Nope, that wasn't it. That wasn't it! Guess it's this one. What? To Ibn and Albert Wessler. Is that not the one I chose first? Albert Did I miss? Natasha, so he met her on more than one occasion. Oh no, they moved around. I think they changed order. Um. Okay, hold on. Which made Albert escape from the asylum. Uh, fall, fall in love with Natasha, and on a fateful night, he killed his brother so he could take his place. Uh, in secret and win Natasha's heart. Fall in love with Natasha. Dun, dun, dun. I and was right all fateful along. night, <laughs> he killed his brother so he could take his place in secret and win Natasha's heart. Did it. Case closed. Imposter. So what happens now? The inevitable, Marty. We'll rest Albert. We're going to the Wessler Mansion to confront Ibn with the facts. You mean Albert, right? Yeah, exactly. And of course, Natasha. Do you think she knew about it? Something stinks, Marty. 
The whole case seems too. How intricate. did Debra end up dead, mm. though? Too many coincidences, right? Like what? Well, well, after ten years, you did learn something, didn't you? Nine. <laughs> You're right. Huh? What? You just laughed, Sonny. What? <gasps> no, I, I, I snorted. Mm -mm. No, you laughed. Big tough ah, detective didn't funny. laugh. <laughs> I'll be telling this to my grand chicks. <laughs> All right, pal, that's enough. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Albert fell madly in love with Natasha and decided to have her for himself. <laughs> and his Air, best chance I know what you're going to do there. Places with Ibn Wessler. So that's why the torn out tongue. Yeah, Ibn couldn't squeal even if he wanted to. What a diabolical plan. More like insane. But why the messages then? Why the threats? Albert got what he wanted. He could have got away with it. I'm not a psychologist, Marty. But remember what the doctor told us. Albert has a seriously injured mind and a split personality. I think his two identities were at war Bro with each other. Bro was losing so it. The messages were written by one of his personalities, consumed by jealousy? Something like that, Marty. But we can only learn the whole truth from him. You're right. So, are we going or what? We're going, Marty, to finally finish what we started. Well, Let's go. If there's anything you'd like to do before, do it now, boss. You won't have a chance later. You're right, Marty. We're like It's time to wrap everything up. Very close to the end, and somehow I'm still suspicious of Lewis. This suspicious man. Hey, Lewis. You weren't awake all night because of us, were you? I've never been this excited, Sonny. Seriously, it is a great honor to be part of the team. Sus. <laughs> what is it? You, Lewis, you don't stutter anymore. What? Just now, you you didn't stutter. Not even a little. Oh, I m m m m must be exhausted. I it happens sometimes. And it's b b back. So, uh, thanks again, Louis. Yeah, that's sus. You always get us out of trouble. Come on, b -b -b boys. Don't even m -m mention it. It is me who is grateful to be a b -b part of an adventure of the ch -ch chicken police. Maybe the last one, too. Hey, Sonny. Don't spoil his mood. He's so cute. Yeah, he does give off serious hitman vibes. Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. I don't. Did you I don't like forget him. anything, Sonny? No, I just thought I'd take a look. Might be the last time I see it. You becoming sentimental? Who knows? Maybe I am. Oh, that's cute. Should I say it? I know, Sonny. I can still get out. But you won't. On the beak. Thanks, pal. Forget about it. Finally I'd stopped be raining. bored to death otherwise. But, 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 but you can't f f fake a st 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 stutter. Nope, definitely can't. Um, okay. What do we need to do here? Albert is even Wessler himself. Madman took his brother's place and is going to tie up loose ends. Uh, if we don't catch him now, it'll be too late. How do we, how do we, how do we do that? You know, pulling the trigger was... You mean when you shot not... me? Yeah. But it wasn't hard, because you thought you'd kill me. Not at all, Sonny. I knew you'd survive. I wanted it to be a permanent injury and hurt like clucking hell. But I knew that everything would change from then on. That something was gonna break between us? Yeah. And that I was never gonna be the same either. With that shot, I also gunned down who I was, you know? It really did hurt like hell. I know. I almost bled I still don't understand death. why he shot me. Almost was the goal. And? Did you manage to forgive me since then? Well, what hurt me wasn't what you did. I mean, of course it did, but what hurt the most was you not trusting me. That you didn't believe me. Not until you pulled the trigger. At that <laughs> moment, the time I knew you were me. right. Ah, uh, cluck. Yeah. How dare Julie.
All right, enough sentimental crap. We have an insane. I guess, I guess we gotta on, put it. Even a blind bat can see it. Yep. I guess we have to. What did we just get from Marty? Damn, I'd be nowhere without your partner. Uh, or most likely in the bottom of the River Thames. River Times, I guess. Is, it's a fictional river. Um, where are we supposed to be going? Hmm. I guess maybe we need to ask somebody for the address? Are going to the weekend house? So we are looking for more evidence? No, I was just thinking we could take another look. Well, the story only true friends case. shoot you. Mm, okay. Don't even. You're really becoming sentimental. Yep, I'm gonna shut it. You don't want to go in there just like that. It's a closed crime scene. I Fine. Hope you, of course I'm messing Fine. with you. Let's get inside there and see how much the boys have messed up the place. You know, Sonny, when we entered the room and saw the girl, Deborah. Yeah, her body. I called you every name in the book inside my head. I just had enough, you know? I wanted to quit. What kept you with me? Was it just curiosity? No. I just wanted to see your downfall, boss. Oh. I wanted to be there when you met your end, get humiliated or even shot. Wow. Well, thanks for your honesty, Marty. But then everything changed on the ship. On the Nightclub, ship? maybe? Maybe? Why there? I I'm trying to look know. it up. I'm trying to see. Being tied up with you. We can ask Hot Dog Bones Juice and Bubo's place are all. I know I lashed out at you, but in extra truth, cut scenes. I felt there was no place I'd rather be. It was my place on that fucking burning ship with you, even if we both died there. Know what I mean? I think I do, Marty. I think I do. So, I guess there's nowhere to go but forward, huh? Nothing left to do but kill a rat. As the chicken police. For the last time? For the last clucking time, partner. Swear? I swear. All right. Let's hit the road. Look, we had like a moment. Uh... Okay, so that wasn't it. Bubba's place is here now. I have to you talk didn't to him again? have the chance to tell me what happened to your brother. He left Clawville, and I haven't talked to him since. Oh, I'm sorry. But I received an unexpected letter two weeks ago from the Sura province. Someone dropped it off at my door. Was it him? He wrote the letter, that's for sure. I could smell the jungle when I opened it. But whether he was the one who delivered it, I don't know. Have you tried to find him? He'll find me if he wants to, Sonny. I know he's not guilty, and that's enough. But he's still wanted in Clawville, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for playing a part in all of this. I know, Sonny. The past is the past. You know, you've truly changed, Marty. You try to hide it, but you've changed. Thanks, boss. Just, uh, don't call me boss, okay? We're partners. Um... Did that work? No. Okay. Um... These two are fucked up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oopsie. Clawville has four colonies. The biggest and richest of them is Sir Her Providence, home to both vast jungle and an even bigger savanna. Savannah? Savannah? Savannah. Uh, most of the exotic animals currently living in Clawville are from this Providence. We've got our best buddy, Marty. If Marty was only playing stupid for so long to see how the mighty Santigo Santino Featherland falls down, to be honest, I understand him. I think I deserve this. Um... We still can't. Maybe we go talk to Zip. Ah, you know, Sonny, 
Few places are as cozy as the hop dog at dawn. You have a point. The silence, the fog, the sunshine slowly devouring the sleeping city. The smell. Yeah, the cobbler district has its own distinctive aroma, that's for sure. But wait, do you smell that? Ah, it seems Zip is ready with the first batch of coffee. That's waiting only for us, my friend. The bug guy's gone. Wow, the hive looks fucked. Well, he's out. He's brave indeed, or an idiot. They're often the same, Marty, and you should know. <laughs> Zippy boy! Hello, Zip. I see they kicked you out. You know, Sonny. They told me I could stay in there for 48 hours if I wanted. Well, maybe you should have done that. Shit, I had enough. Fuck it. You understand? Doesn't say how to unlock it. You opened Fuck. my eyes. Um, I don't give a shit. Maybe we just have to visit every location. Wesler and his henchmen. Let them come if they want. It's not gonna be easy for them. No. You can be sure of that. That's the zip we know and love. Thanks, Marty. So, uh, why are you here? One last coffee before the end. Are you going to get him? We don't have a choice, Zip. We're grabbing the rat by the tail. No screwing around. No playing. Oh, advice. I think we have to talk to Lewis, ah, maybe? I see Ibn's Oops. really got to you. Just Sonny. I'm like this all the time. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Cash Clan, welcome. I had some chicken pig joke, but. These voice actors are too good for it. The voice acting of this is superb. Can confirm. Um. Oh, Ursula's here again. <laughs> he does not look happy about it. Um. I call Lewis. Lewis, can you come upstairs, please? <laughs> we we talked to Lewis, but I don't think we exhausted like I don't think we grilled him. <coughs> I don't think we said everything we were like supposed to. Did, was that the wrong number? That was probably the wrong number. I think we fucked up. I don't know how to unfuck it. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Louis. Nope, that's the right number. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we called him Sus, but like, that was about it. It seems to think that we should have a new person here, but we don't. Something, something, chicken cops or poultry pigs or something, I'd key ran out of C4 for my entrances. Alrighty, Drilly, have a good night. See you next time. Goodbye. Um. Okay, it's time to look up a guide. It's time, it's time to cheat. Uh, chicken police full, I guess we'll go with. And Huh, okay, this guy has the same issue going on that we do. Maybe we just need to talk to Marty in all the locations. Maybe it's like a wrap up our best friend adventure sort of situation. Well, if we have anything like else they keep to doing this, so beaver, maybe this is the last chance. Hey, don't steal my style. Just learning from the best. Let me give you some advice. Don't. Um Booba's place? We're at Booba's place already. Hey, Boobo. Oh, he died. Hello, old man. 
Is he asleep? <sighs> Bobo! <laughs> hey, uh, what is it? Scared the shit I out of him. wasn't sleeping. You were something. What the hell are you doing here, chickens? Would you shut the clock up, Marty? You're not funny. You're going to Wessler's, huh? Bingo. We're gonna put an end to this madness. Ooh. Or you're stirring up an even bigger madness, am I right? Well, that's always a possibility. Get yourself killed for all I care, but don't come here covered in blood. Because I'm not gonna open the door for you, I swear. Oh, thanks for the support, old fart. Don't mention it, yo, gizzard. <laughs> Best friends. Golden City. Maybe we need to make a phone call? I don't. Let's see how this person does it. Uh, put on two speed. Do we have to get the address from someone? Let's keep talking to Marty while we wait. I've also forgiven you, you know. I don't remember asking for it. I'm not mad anymore. Blow me, Sonny. You always have to have the last word? Of course not. I've also forgiven. I okay, so that's that's like end of dialogue. Can't talk anymore. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold. Somehow they get back out to the street with this rabbit. What did they click on to do it? A hundred and nineteen days left, Marty, and I'm out of here. As soon as I get my discharge papers, I'm leaving for the wilderness on the first flight. Ah, you know, I envy you a little. Eh, it's not going to go outside. Um, yeah, that's what not I'm trying to figure out, because this is just our bedroom door. Why There's not actually, Natasha like, a you? building door. Yeah. What are you even talking so I don't know. about? Come on, Sonny. Cut the act. I tried calling him, and that didn't work. Oh, I shit. Hope. Stupid. Fun. Stupid. 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 You know what it is? I have to click this fucking button right here. Dumb. Dumb. So, so, so you're going now to confront <clears throat> Mr. W w w Whistler? We have no other oh. choice, Lewis. We're gonna see it through to the end. We've already come now we're, this now far. We're, now we're trucking. You're Brave gentlemen, I'm honestly impressed. Well, the rabbit's on to something. This isn't about money, not about courage or pride either. It's simply stubbornness. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> Admitted it. We can't really ask well, him anything. Good luck, guys. Just keep talking to Thanks, him. Thanks, Lewis. We could use some luck, that's for sure. Well. I see we're ready. You'll need a shotgun for this kind of deal, Marty. Maybe even that won't be enough. Nothing oh my god, our car has bullet holes in it now. Here. Even less because our you're here car. too with Mr. Sinclair, of course. Should I cry? That would be nice for a change. Uh, Cash Clam, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? How are you this fine Tuesday? 
So sorry, I got so caught up in trying to figure out what the fuck I was you doing. Think that'll be en enough evidence, not in the slightest. And that's why we go unannounced. And with big guns. Exactly. I like this new Sonny. There is no new Sonny. Just the old ones had enough. Do you remember that case with the goat? Uh, which one? When that demented wolf devoured the kids of a young goat mother, and in revenge, she cut open his stomach and filled it with rocks. Do I remember? I'll never forget it. Hell, that was a slaughterhouse. Jesus. As far as I know, she even took the remains of the kids with her. But how did Good that come to God. mind? This was that shop. The goat mother was running it. They found the dead wolf in here. This? This one exactly? Good gods. Yeah, before it was closed down, when there was still some life here. Not even that now. Just the void. Yeah. It does sound like a fairy tale. Spooky place, that's for sure. Still, I love to live here. Sonny, you're creepy. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. So, can we go from here, or... It's still not here. Tell me your secrets, Lewis! Alright, hold on. Back to the guide. What did they do? So they're having the same problem I am. We just have to choose the right trunk object, maybe? If our theory's correct, this photo will hurt more than a We just have to look bullet. at everything in the trunk, That's maybe? The plan. You think you'll need your fake badge? I never needed a badge, Marty. What a punchline. It's more like a kind of good luck charm. It reminds me of who I should be. And? Does it work? No, Marty. Not really. If we survive this, can we crack this open? I'd rather keep it for a really special occasion. <gasps> You're saying I'm not special enough? No. I was joking. If we survive this, we'll drink it to the last drop. <laughs> now you're talking. It's a little outdated, but I understand I why you're gun. so attached <laughs> to it. It can pierce the skin of a rhino. One combo body, right into the other. The rust brings back memories. I'm a man of bad habits. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm one of your bad habits. Rest assured, Marty. No, really, are. there's one where they cut open animal stomachs, get out children filled with stones oh shit so like an actual uh, actual story nice second. hell yeah drumstick still hurts every time i see her be glad you're alive bertha oh my god oh my god it's not lewis we gotta talk to marty i just realized ibn this is why mira doesn't stream this club. long yes marty. it becomes worse than albert's normal. been ibn for a long that he's been acting strange recently Exactly. Like, he's not himself anymore. It was almost hitting us in the face, huh? Don't blame yourself, Marty. We couldn't have figured that out just by ourselves. The whole story's too twisted for that. Well, it's how we make our living, Sonny. And I'm sure we'll have plenty more twisted cases to come. Who knows, Marty? It's not up to us. It's mostly not up to us, in fact. Yeah, right. Insane asylum. Do you think the asylum was in on it? I mean, Set of covering fireworks to celebrate the long stream. You know that reptiles you should. Are creeps. One of them even set fire to that ship. But oddly enough, the doctor seemed honest to me. He seemed like a patient to me. Seriously, I thought everyone was crazy in that place. Yeah, whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process, he doesn't become a monster. Are you still talking about the doctor? <laughs> Good question. So, what's the plan? We shove the letter in our theory in his face and see what happens? Something like that, Marty. That sounds dangerous. I think our presence will be enough for the truth like to come out. Sounds like a terrible idea. We're I gonna really get hope dead. you're right, Boss Bird. We have no other choice. So I hope so, too. Do you think it's a love triangle? I mean, could Natasha love Albert as well? Good question, Marty. But I don't think so. 
When I first spoke to Natasha, she told me she loved Ivan in her own way. In her own way, huh? What does that even mean? And could she love two rats in her own way? Maybe. Maybe she even suspected the truth, but didn't dare admit it. I mean, she knew even both of them. Hmm. I feel like she would be able to, like, notice when one so is one and the, then they are the other. Clear. <laughs> I don't know, Marty, but I believe Natasha didn't mean to be bad. Not intentionally, at least. I'm not as sure of that as you are, boss. But we'll find that out pretty soon, I guess. I think Natasha was very much aware <laughs> that sandwich, that in my she own goes, way. Disaster what does that mean, her? What did you do to that sandwich? Her fault, and she can't do anything about it. There are people like that. Really? You now I want a sandwich. Say. Thanks a lot. Someone <laughs> remarkably similar came to mind right now. You mean me, right? Who can even read minds? Maybe you're right, Marty. Maybe you're Just right. Just let it happen. All right, we finally got the new location. We finally got it to happen. There it is. Here we go. The sun was shining, and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly <laughs> over. Poor car. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? I feel like she could have saved us a lot of fucking well, time if, you if she just told to go, us. Go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. <laughs> just be like, how's it going, Albert? <laughs> yeah, just I name am, drop Natasha. it. I hope you're wow, what a mansion. Me. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty. And half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us. And Natasha, too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? Watch me get them dead. I've had worse. Really? There's nowhere to save Scum, so we could get him dead. All right, we got a rat knight. Wow. Huh, one of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely, this represents what he thinks of himself. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Eben was planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. We just, like, knock on the front door, or...? Hey. Nope. Not so fast, chickens. Do not. Please excuse my partner. We didn't mean to be rude. It's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. Not as long as I'm here, boys. Well, I'll see about that, furball. All right, henchmen. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them, Tommy guns. Oh yeah, now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. Exactly. Oh, what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sights while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy. I pal. like Archibald better. We're not even here anymore. At least Archibald's Until nice next to me. time, boys. Kind of. This must lead to Wessler and Natasha's suite. Well, let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. Marty. No need for that, Marty. Marty. We'll Lord wait until Marty. They invite us in. 
like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns, but I hope it won't come to that. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Marty just likes to Relax, shoot people. Marty. Someone is gonna pay tonight. Well, yeah. Hi, Kitty. Just don't let it be us. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now, if you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin! Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? Uh-oh. What do they not understand, Olivia? Uh-oh. So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler is very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Hitsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh... <clears throat> Please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin? It's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katzenko. Um, this is like the most color we've seen on this game, and it's it's kind it's uh it's kind of uh, weird. It's freaking me the out. Truth <laughs> is, Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. Our comb is in tatters, woman. Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Zavas. Wild gods. Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please <laughs> don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot Jesus, think of have anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me, what is going on? You have to know, right? Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm having a rough morning after Man, a Man, he does look night. rough. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long. To put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door is always open to the legendary chicken police. Please, uh, come on in, guys. Let's uh, talk in my room. Then this way, please. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, go and refresh yourself or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, coffee. Dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, Follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. Um, real quick, I just want to see the picture of what Ivan looked like before, because, okay, his eyes were bigger. He looks, he looks rough. Uh, uh up here, I suppose. Oh. Farewell from fowls. Incredible. Oh. Uh oh. This painting. It's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. 
Well, yeah, mildly mutilated and kill his brother. Damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch, because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough! Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. I didn't Easy, think clicking on the Wessler. painting would we'll get, to that in a bit. get this crazy. We're going right in. I just wanted to see the painting. God, it's kind of disturbing. I see bed. bed. Let's talk cozy. about his bed. Sure is better than a cell. There's an answer on the That's genitalia. Right. Is it an answer, though? I'm not sure I understand, gentlemen. We'll see about that. Hold on. Is it an answer? Ooh, kinda. Yeah, I'll take it. It's human. All right, let's just let's just talk. So, uh, let's get it over with. What do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we going to flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah. So let's continue yeah, like that, see. shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours. With fire, with machine guns, I could go on. And while we're at it, you could answer some of our questions. If you've nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. And then we'll just leave you alone. All right. I'll go along with your childish little game. I would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway. So, can we start? With pleasure, Mr. Wessler. To be fair, if my brother lived in this house with this hot cat girl, and I was just stuffed in a mental institution, I might want to break out, kill him, and take his place too. Just saying. Daylight Diamond, very well. Trust me, it's human genitalia. Well, all right, you heard I it here first, no kids. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, she really worries more than usual, but it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh... Since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler? What Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? Fighting words. Know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. Oh boy. You son of a bitch. Sonny, oh don't. Yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's For not yourself? Worth it. You're funny, you know that? Fight, fight, fight. About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. Yeah, the rooster did just what growl. Did that was, that My was, uh, yes. That, you that was the noise that came out of him. Much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So, Albert made the painting at your request. Is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? 
It's just me. Now I'm watching Boggs as the chicken the man. Doesn't tell much in itself, if anything, yes. Boggs would be a bear. But if you already have the right information, not a chicken. Suddenly, it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? You mean I'm um, very me? very bog. You. No, I mean while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And do you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Yeah, I have no idea. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wesler? I... Eh... Uh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? It's not as dumb as we're you just think. doing our job. Then do it clearly. And quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession. In which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her, even the most horrible things. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a normal. No one yeah, would Pete. believe his word. Don't you understand? He's trying to stuff himself in a box yours, that he's way too right? big for. Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand why. But she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness he hasn't denied and the it. darkness? What could you know about hate, huh? He pretty much just admitted it. Uh, hold on. Do we have a picture for... No. Who is this mysterious person? That's all I want to know. Oh! <gasps> Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, and might not even know who he really is. Watch me is. botch this really hard. I have to concentrate on this first to soften him up, and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. Oh boy. What were you thinking, Albert? How long did you think you could keep that ending? Up? Until the end of my life. Are there multiple needs. endings? Yeah, I cared about. Me. Why did you think that Oops. would happen? Everybody noticed the change. Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Ibn. They only had to believe I'm him. Um... Why did you decide to take your brother's place? <laughs> Either way, we celebrate with fireworks! From the moment I laid eyes Are on you trigger happy for the first time. But I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother. Am I right? Are you insane? Yeah, Abel would have had me killed immediately. And no one would ever know. So instead, you've done the same thing, haven't you? What a comfortable excuse. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the most. Cry me a river. Yeah, you know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between love and hate. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? 
Eh, I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, evasive answer. So I'm right. Let's see. Imposter, manipulator, cruel. I don't even know who he really is. So, did you ever believe that you did were? Did you Ibn? ever believe that you were Ibn Wesler? Did I ever believe? I still do. I believed it all along. Don't you get it? I am Ibn Wesler. And also, Albert Wesler. I see you're starting to understand. So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Does it sound crazy? Maybe he didn't say is. he wanted to, like, what, absorb him or some shit in that me. letter? Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? Eh, I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend, uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold-blooded killer you'd like to think you are. Yeah, do you think so? Try me, detective. What made you think you can deceive Natasha? What would you have done? What's your plan? Take his place and live happily ever after. Yeah, skip Natasha. That was your plan. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why? Isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect. Even in its imperfection. Oh my Which god, you shake it. Ibn's ghost. Is... is what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about the uh, spirits. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's uh, too much for you to understand. So you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious, because looking at the gun in Wessler's trembling hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel psychopath, but maybe I can turn that cruelty against him. When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Fiddleland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Natasha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in love with her? End of story? Not in the slightest, Mr. Fiddleland. Love is, uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland. Are you sure she Not wasn't cold? All. She's naked at in the painting. She's probably cold. I knew what I was going to do. I knew that the world was coming to an end. Think having a furry head keeps you it. warmer? It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't. Let him have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. They're just fucked. Off his rocker. Um, I can turn that cruelty against him. I think that can explain everything with your insanity. You enjoyed leading everyone on by the nose, didn't you? Just a cheap copy, you know that, right? Um, do you think you can explain everything? Do you think you can explain everything Maybe? with your insanity? Don't be a fool, Sonny. Insanity is just a temporary state. Just a stop on the way to enlightenment. So you admit you're insane. That's mm -hmm. surprising for your kind. Of course I'm not insane. Ah, well, here we are. Albert was insane. He lost all connections to reality. But I saved him. You mean, you're Ibn? Both of us, Mr. Featherland. Okay. I almost understand everything now. Don't mock me, Mr. Fiddleland. You're still at the wrong end of the gun, you remember. It would be hard to forget. 
you hate Ibn or yourself more? When you decide when did you decide that we too have to die? Find the cruelty in on himself. Like Did you this hate one? Ibn or yourself more, Albert? Albert hated himself the most ever since he was born. He, uh, he idolized Ibn. But every time his brother stood before him, he saw what he could have been himself if he had enough strength. But he didn't. Albert had always been a coward, a, a pitiful nobody. And now? Finally, there's no more Albert. And no more Ibn either. It's only me, and for both of them, I'm perfect. Can it be that the fear is making you say these things, Albert? Stop calling me that. I have to call you something. What should I call you? What name should I use? Uh, I, I don't know any more. I, we I fucked don't. him. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wounds. Uh, if you still have a spine, you put that gun to your own head. Jesus. No, that's not subtle. Uh, Natasha was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was kind to you, right? Snow Albert Too only kind. Ibn. Natasha was a... Pretty much. Simply amazing, gentle, kind, lively, but still so uh, distant. You're telling me. It's like she was from another world. A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do. He's getting yeah. twitchier. I knew Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him, can't you see? This is the only way I could comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. This dude's what? a mess. I... I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on the canvas anymore. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. This poor boy. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No! You can't understand this. She can't either. I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you see? We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. Damn, deep I words, Sonny. Her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized um, her. Um, I think it's more I like he wrote her. horror on the windows and, and shit. If anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and warm feeling. And infinitely red. Just like love. You know you're not going to be able to go through with it, right? That you won't be able to carry the weight. But you still did it. Why? Yeah, if I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats? Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you killed Deborah? In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? I can't More comprehend this itself. guy at all. This you guy's see? a mess. We're not so different after all. You and I have nothing in common, Wessler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. Ooh, we got true detective. Guys, I'm the best detective. <laughs> and then I get shot. Oh, Mexican standoff. Oh, that was a perfect interrogation. Oh no. He shot himself or did Marty shoot him? Oh, <gasps> Natasha! Wow.
Oh, man. Damn. So, you heard everything. I heard everything. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. And thank you. If it you weren't guys for knew. you... Yes, both of you would be dead, I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know, I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. And regarding Molly... The cops? But how? How do they know? I have no idea, Marty. Do not look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more <laughs> worried about us than her. Hello, boss. We're probably gonna be in trouble. Hello, boys. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Santino. Monica already told me everything. Oh my God, bless her. Monica. Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, Mon. Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Hey, mine too. We'll get you all kinds of shoes, girl. Furry. We don't want to hear that. And boys. Mm. Uh, yes, boss. Don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want a report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Now yes, I sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. Why is that the what smartest? he's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. But we're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? I'm Why a does good everybody keep bird. asking that? Why indeed? So can we go now, boss? Without getting handcuffed? Don't so much give paperwork. Me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Infin infinite amounts of paperwork. So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. That would be really complicated. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Yes, I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Ma'am? Goodbye, detectives. Did it, we saved the day. How the hell did you find your way here, Tim? Tim, what Always are you doing? Where the trouble is. Sometimes I think you're the criminal mastermind behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So, where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. You've left quite the mess behind. That, I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, will you give me an exclusive interview? No. Clock off, Tim. Hey! Clock off, Timbo. Timbaroonie. Uh, now what? Did we finally get the mystery person? God damn it. Albert uh, honestly believes he and Ibn Wessler are one and the same. Two souls in one body. I don't even know what to think about this madness, but one thing with, is without question. Albert's a vicious beast and he has to go down no matter what. Albert would have done anything to prevent his secret from emerging, but it was too late. Natasha felt something wasn't right with him and Albert knew he couldn't get away with it. It's simple. Deadly simple. Um... Natasha saved our lives at the last minute once Albert had revealed everything. So there we go. That's it. But is it really over? Natasha tried to send us away from the Wessler estate, but why? Was she worried about us or did she have a different motive? What a surprise. In the end, she was the one who pulled the trigger and saved us. But of course, if it wasn't her, we would have wouldn't have been in the situation in the first place. 
I'm wrong. Uh, oops, Olivia had one. Olivia tried to shoo us out of the West Side Manor Strange, but she seemed quite worried about our lives. Monica knew uh, what we were up to and informed the boys just in time. If not for her, Wessler's goons would have most likely riddled us with bullets. Old man's small hairy heart softened in the end, huh? And it, all it took was the downfall of a gangster empire, nothing more. All is right in the world again. Ursula's back and Bubo's still grumpy, insufferable now. Balance in the universe is restored. I should have talked to Ursula. I fucked up. Who else? Oh, it's still that mystery notification. Oh, shit. Uh, Falcon Man. Hi, you? Filmar. What are you doing here? I was just driving around. You know. Trying to feed your grandpa. So. Archibald called him Gabriel, but the dialogue box from him uh, only said henchman. Oh, shit. Us? What this should be Gabriel, something? the other henchman? I thought I'm he had a, a, a section. Did someone hire you to follow us? Maybe not. Let me look. I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations when it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? A professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do? Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I Lewis. I promise. You and your promises. Bet it was Lewis. Some people still take him seriously. You're a real piece of guano. <laughs> you know that? Of course. I've learned everything from you, you old fart. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. I was following us all along, but who's command? Lewis! It was Lewis! Um, okay, I wanted to look. Archibald. Yeah, I guess the bobcat never got a section. Maybe that is supposed to be him. Huh. Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those She's literally the best character. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. It was for us, too. Believe me. <laughs> she saved our asses. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? Uh, no, sir. Then stop pecking around here. Yes, sir. How do I, how do I go home? Pull a boil. Antino, you're doing that on purpose? How do I go no, home? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck out of here. And what about you, Sonny? I'll go home and sleep. Maybe for three days. I'll try to forget. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. If there's anything I can do. I'm not sorry, Natasha. It's better this way. We find out painful truths, but at least we see clearly now, don't we? Yes, I think you're right. Oh, maybe over here? Oh shit, yep, Jesus. All right, everybody's here. Hey, Olivia. Marty? I Marty. just uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us i didn't do it only for you believe me i loved my job while i had it now my employee is dead so i don't have a job anymore wow i can't imagine I that being like how you lose your think job of that of course you didn't Shit, sorry can i do anything to help i think i'll manage i always do bosco you're a good boy bosco good nice boy work. bosco you know folks somebody's got to take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city Sorry hey, for the mess, Bosco, but you know us. Cracked an yeah, entire gangster ring, all right? Listen. I do. How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. Hey, a second longer, and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. Fuck you sideways, Bosco. Sideways? Gentlemen. Gentlemen? Uh -huh. We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. 
for myself. I'm glad, gentlemen. Don't think Oops. we'll be behind bars for long, chickens. Whistler may be dead, but his empire still won't crumble. Oh, look at that. He can talk. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. All right. So here they are, ladies and oh. gentlemen, the chicken police in the flesh. Damn it, Tim. Drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you Dude. deserve it. What the cluck peace did fingers. you say, boss? Throw the peace signs, boys. To look like someone who's glad to be alive. Uh, yes, sir. We'll try. Ooh, attention, chicken police. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh, my God, Marty. <laughs> they didn't even catch my good side. Birds of a feather flock together. Chicken police are back. God, what a shit picture. They did me a dirty. Oh. The following animal species were not included in this game. Is it really just gonna list out animals? <laughs> Among many others. That's funny. All these species have been declared extinct. Oh no! That's fuck. That's sad. In the development of the game, all those species went extinct. That's the banger. We did it! Jora, thank you so much for gifting me Chicken Police. I really like this game. Uh, oh my God! Look at the evolution of the chicken. Wow, we went through some phases, huh? Yeah, real glow up over there. Confirmed in the trophy guide, the mystery person was Gabriel. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know why that broke. That's really weird. Oh, well. Oh my god, look. The movie poster, like the old-timey one versus the... The parrot and the dog one. Yes. But my soul keeps me turning back. I'm tired of being safe. Oh look, it's Olivia. It's Olivia's body and that's probably Marty's body. It's weird to see. Crow looked uh, good with a crow for a head. Is that a weird? Is that a weird thought? Human genitalia. Finally figured it out. Oh my god, yes, another one of the posters. Oh my god, it's so great. Would have thought they'd used body capture for this. Ah. I think they can get away with just photos that they animate, yeah? Um, okay. I don't know how long these credits are. Oh, we got pets. Oh, Bosco was one of the pet names. That's cute. That lady must have been the cat body. That's what I meant, but didn't think they'd go so far as to dress doubles for the photo. Oh, That's oh, oh, I see. No, I figured that'd be the easiest, the fastest way to do it. Just put people in the outfits. To be continued? Oh! Natasha. You were expecting me, weren't you? I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. About what exactly? You know very well. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Oh. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. 
We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light? I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. Maybe you don't really need it. Hm. Maybe you're right. Maybe. It was weird to see him fully animated. Sad chicken boy. Oh no! Five 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 two two three. Oh man. Spike Spiegel. Isn't that Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> Alrighty, that was Chicken Police. That, yeah, not animated film. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, okay, that was Chicken Police. Awesome. Um, so there will likely not be a stream on Thursday. Uh, I'm getting my booster, and from what I understand, that puts you out. Um, so that's why we went a little bit longer today. Uh, there should be a stream on Sunday, though. So look out for that. We'll be starting a new game. Don't know what it is yet. I'll figure it out along the way. Who knows? Uh, I think Sunday... Is that after the new year? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be in a new year. New year? New Miro? New game? It'll be great. <laughs> I promise to never do that ever again. Um, thanks so much for being here with me, guys. Uh, especially for an extra long stream while we finished up Chicken Police. Uh, I hope to see you on Sunday for something new. I hope everyone has a good, safe new year. Uh, I hope you ring it in with uh, some people you love. Uh, if not, you know, I'll say Happy New Year in the Discord. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in 2022. I'll see you guys next year. Ha ha ha. Stupid joke. Has to be made. Um, let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes. And... You can finally go off to sleep. Good luck with the airport trip. Thank you. It has been since pushed back to 2 a.m. So it's going great so far. Uh, if I can get Spotify to play. Maybe. There we go. Alrighty. So thank you to Falstro for the resub. Happy four years. Uh, happy four years to Fizz and Sassy as well. Thank you guys for the resubs. Thank you, thank you. Jora, thank you for the 36 months, the three years. I really appreciate it. And thank you again for Chicken Please. Thank you, thank you. And Aaron, thank you for gifting a sub to Cosmo. Cosmo, happy 26 months. And uh, that's it. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night if you're somewhere else. And I hope you sleep well if you're near me. And I hope you have a happy new year and I'll see you guys in 2022.